I've pointed that out at Showtime. Gotta put on your mic, oh, audio now. My, my phone is at full audio. Don't forget your mic, George. Hmm? I've pointed that out. Okay, so we are mics weren't muted. That's nice. But the mics were muted actually. No. Well because I wasn't getting any audio here until you Mics I just muted the mics. Huh. Oh. And it's still saying mics are not muted, so I'm wondering if the camera's on. The mics. Yeah, they can definitely hear us. We'll be with you momentarily. I promise. No, we should just like do a hot start. We need to, I need to figure out this. And now we have an echo going. That's because there's two people like listening and they're at different phases. I am not one of them. Well, at least on the plus side, we know the audio is working. Mm -hmm. Did you paint that yourself? Nice. Can someone ask Chuck which audio source we're supposed to use for speakers? Okay. Hey, George, can you get Chuck over here? Or did he leave already? I think he's still there. Summon Chuck. He's probably playing The Witcher. I cast Summon Chuck. I thought he said he had to leave. And play Witcher. No, he told me to lock the door for tweakers. Hey, we got tech support. So we have uh, our mics are going through even though it's muted and there's no music going through. I think it's because yeah, it's selecting one of the cameras as, it could be. like down on mixer. Yeah, oh, no. it could be. It's saying blue. Good. But when I go to properties, it says video. So who got the red oh, uh, mic? Who brought the what? Who got the red mic? Mm -hmm. The red mic. The red mic. Oh. Do I don't know what you're asking. That would be me. The red mic. That, that would be me. Hi! That's one way to do it. I bet you anything that's. Do we have the headphones? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Recipes for Disaster. It's really um, hot. Can you? Yeah. Thank you. Appreciate that. Of course. Trying new technology things, trying to, you know, always shooting for improvement. So appreciate your guys uh, bearing with us. You're experiencing um, technical difficulties. Please stand by. I can't think of a single time that we weren't experiencing technical difficulties with the stream. So, you know, um, it's it's a work in progress. It's almost like this stream is a recipe for disaster. Oh. Almost. Almost. Good one. Good one. It's almost like a dad joke without being a dad joke. That's great. <laughs> but you are the dad joke. Yes, I know I am. What are you, man? Oh, wait. Um, so... Huh? So I want to welcome everyone again. Uh, before we get started, just like always, let's go ahead and say thank you to our sponsors. Um, so Endearing Films, thanks Chuck, appreciate thanks, Chuck. it. Thank you Chuck. Thank you Chuck. Um, thank you Chuck. Epic Worlds and Games. Hey Jimmy. Woo. Hey Jimmy. You know, thanks for everything you do for us. We appreciate it. Thank you Jimmy. Um, get, if anyone gets a chance to go visit them, do. It's an amazing store. Copperopolis, though a little bit of a drive from here, it, it's a fun little place to go to. Jimmy, we want to see you on stream soon. Um, Four Eyes Ales. So, yep. uh, so Four Eyes Ales. Yes. Uh, again, Instagram at the number four E Y E S A L E S. Uh, so we have this is their logo right here. Uh, they have sent us uh, a total of five different beers. Here you go. Six oh six beers in total. Uh, so for the uh, two of, uh, two of the same beers, we're going to be sharing here on. Uh, this stream as the next stream, but we're also going to try one particular beer here, which is the raspberry beer uh, on this stream, and then on uh, Thursday, uh, we're going to be trying uh, their pale, uh, their uh, smoky, I think they called it. Um, but anyway, so tune in Thursday to find out what we think about those beers. Um, there's a couple new ones here, but we'll, uh, I don't know when we're going to try those, but we'll try those eventually. <laughs> Whatever you want, I guess. Right on. Yeah, no, I mean, I'd love to try them anytime. They might be cold enough now if we want to go. Um, I mean, I'm, I'm up for it. Anyone after else up, up for one? Okay, let's do it after break. Give me a chance after to After break, cold. all right. Cool. It'll be a, a welcome, look, you know, something to look forward to for break. Um, right. So, yeah, so if you guys want to be a sponsor, let us know. We'd love more sponsors. So feel free to, to let us know. Um, oh, and Hairball has subscribed at a tier one. They've so subscribed for Gem? seven months. Woohoo! Woo and Dragon Gem. Woo! Thank you guys. <laughs> Appreciate it. All the subscribers, you are the unseen sponsors. So thank you for for watching us and, and attending and being part of chat. And Dragon Gem and Hairball, thank you for all the things you've given us. It's amazing. Including so, these wonderful dice trays. Including yes. the wonderful dice trays. It's yes, amazing. They are awesome. And the games on uh, Fortune Favors, which is uh, Thursday nights at 8.30, which we will be uh, coming back. I'll be coming back from my, like, month-long not being on stream, so, you know. <laughs> Just in time to see how they destroy. I mean, <laughs> hey, Rafa. <laughs> so let's let's go ahead and do announcements. Uh, Rafa, you already started with uh, Fortune Favors. So Fortune there. Favors aboard. Uh, every Thursday at 8.30, uh, we play board games, uh, on occasion video games. I w I'm going to see if we can figure out some way to maybe get some Mario Party going and uh, maybe some more Jackbox for everybody. Uh, that way you guys can play as well. Um, I know we're going to have a guest that hasn't been on since the second episode uh, on Thursday. Um, Jacob? Jacob, yeah. Uh, and then um, I guess just a personal announcement. I've been uh, finally getting started on the board game that I've been talking about on Fortune Favors. Uh, we... Uh, came up with this one little prototype and we've been kind of uh, trying to figure out, we're trying to balance it a little bit more and figure out what needs to go in it, but I mean, this can be like a couple year long project, I think. Although, it ran pretty smoothly on, on on Wednesday, so I'm pretty pretty excited about that. Right on. Um, let's jump over to Ryan. Well, as Rafa said, he wasn't a part of the Thursday stream this past Thursday, but we did have some epic fun times playing Uno on stream. As well as arguing with Trevor a little bit, which was really fun too. Hey, you know, without me? Mm -hmm. Hey, you know, you're fired. Uno, maybe you guys should come up with like house rules or board rules. We kind of did actually. Okay. Yeah, okay. we were kind of making them up on the spot a little bit. Right on. Right and Trevor almost lost a game because of a rule that we tried to implement. Nice. <laughs> that didn't make any sense. No, I agree. How it would I agree. What, it what, is, what was the rule? Uh, so the <laughs> I, I went out by playing a wild draw four. Yeah. Uh, and they tried to stack more wild draw fours and so it would have been wild draw 12 mm -hmm. 
but I had no cards normal. because mm -hmm. I'd already won. Right. And so they were trying to say that I would have to draw 12 cards because yeah. I couldn't play anything. I'm like, no, I'm already out. I mean, no, no, I mean, I agree with them. By, by the they cards. meaning David, because I was agreeing with him. Well, actually, you play the last card, you can't draw, you don't draw anymore. Oh, unless it comes back around to you. I mean, it's, no, it's just No, because I'm unless, out. I've already it's, it's won. Unless, I, I, unless you're forced to, to draw cards on your turn, that's... Yeah. yeah. In Blood Uno, that's how it works. Yeah. Blood Uno? Blood Uno. Uno. My as favorite in, variation of Uno. As in, like, you make a blood pack while you play? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no. Summon a couple Next time we play Uno, Uno we'll, we'll play Blood Uno. Sounds good. I, I prefer Blood Roulette Uno. Um, or Bruno, for short. Yeah. Uh, Bruno Roulette. Bruno Roulette. 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 Yeah. We could we could yeah, put we'll, out we'll a try to be more clear. We could put out a poll but, but to like our yeah. listeners and then say, like, adult language or not. Oh, there or we not. go. There's a good idea. I'm we can actually that put idea. that. We can actually huh? put that out I'm on Facebook. So that. that'd be kind of good. Oh. Um. Okay. So. George. Well, as John, any announcements? As John and Christine know, last week during the uh, con, I started work, trying to work on a chainmail bag. And finally, my dash bag is done. Woo! Johnny's my brick closer to Woohoo! There are dice in there? Yeah, I can tell. <laughs> a week long adventure, and can actually hold a 16 ounce soda can. Nice. George, your sack looks fantastic. Thank you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's fun to play with. It looks pretty clean, too. <laughs> does, it, does it swing any particular well, way? Well oiled. Left or right? Straight down. I think it wobbles to and yes, throw. Yes, and it missed him. Perfect. Damn! Right through his hand. <laughs> Woo -hoo! It was amazing. Okay. It's pretty durable, too. Um, it's Christine. Steel. All stainless steel. Okay, I think the only announcement I have this week is here are my books. <laughs> here, hand them over here. I'll put
<laughs> Wait, Jack can read? Right. Of course, he reads no, one of these. And you're okay, just making sure. <laughs> I, I lost track of who, whose announcements we were doing. Okay, so it has to be mine. Um, so we are working on lots of things for the stream. Um, while I'm working on making props and fun things and new character sheets for the new universe. Um, uh, so I am extremely busy. I have not gone around to drawing, but do expect to see some new images for the stream um, within a few weeks. May maybe not next week, but maybe the week after. We'll, we'll find out. Um, we are, again, trying to, trying to make things better and more visually impactful. So let us know Ooh. what you think. Um, also, let us know what you guys think of the stream. Um, of the episodes that you've seen, go back and rewatch them. Give us critical feedback because without the feedback, we can't improve. So definitely let us know. Um, yeah, so that's it, I believe. So yeah, so with no further ado, let's go ahead and get started on this week's episode of Recipes for Disaster. Um, quick recap. Um, one thing I have done is I, I went through and I'm trying to write down the recaps of the previous episodes. I did not get to write the episode recap of last episode, so I'm going to wing it. But I do want to go back to the first episode and just do a quick recap so you guys can look at your notes, take notes, add to them if you need to. Some minor things may have changed, but I'm trying to keep it as You've been writing that for same hours. As, as possible. So, um, episode one was the start of the new campaign. Bill Sender, after quitting his drug addiction... He went and saw his psychiatrist, Janine Descartes. Bill, a successful accountant, keeps having dreams that are both scary and confusing. While he's in the dreams, he's amongst others that struggle to fight an unimaginable darkness. Also, the Bill in the dream is immensely powerful. Not at all like he really is. Janine recommends that Bill keep a dream journal and a diary. She also suggests that he enjoy himself more. Taking her advice, Bill decides to go to the new carnival that just came to town. Meanwhile, Dustin Van Straten, he arrived in the U.S., originally near Mount Rainier, and it took him a little while to get down to Yosemite. About three um, months. To meet his contact, Ferris, to find out how he might be able to redeem himself enough to go home to the realm of cats. Ferris tells him about a half-breed Bernithian drow that might be just what he needs. Since a cat lord agreed to help all Bernanthians, if he can help this woman, he might have a chance for redemption. Dustin understands and agrees. He gets on a bus and heads to Atlanta. Jack Walker meets the new region boss for the carnival, a man named Steve Marshall, asks him to be security when the blind fights are not being held. To make sure Jack is capable of being blind, to be security, Steve assigns his friend Mike Harkness to follow Jack around. As they meander through the carnival, they meet Bill Sender, who tags along with them because he says something about Jack feels familiar. Jack shrugs this off and gets ready for his evening of fights. Amaya, always looking for either leads on how far the Clinton Empire has reached or allies to fight them, Amaya tracks down another lead in Atlanta. Although she has not been on Earth long, she has managed to understand the backwards customs that she has encountered so far. Narrowly avoiding a tale, she decides to visit the carnival and check up on the blind fighter. Either he's an alien, or he may be just an ally that she might need. Dun, dun, dun! Barnabas and Jonah. Barnabas, a spiritual leader, gets to Atlanta, sets up his tent revival up in a piggly-wiggly parking lot. Marcus Waller, the owner of the store, allows Barnabas the help of four of his employees, Roger, Carl, Curtis, and Tim. Setting up the large tent and PA system is quickly done, so Barnabas and his truck driver Jonah decide to go and spread the word of the Lord's salvation at the best location they can think of, the carnival. Upon arriving, Jonah hears of the blind fighter and decides he needs to see this up close. After wading through a commotion at the sign-up line, Jonah pays for three fights. As he puts his money into the jug, a small female appears and slips hers in first. And that is the recap of the first episode. Second episode started out with the fights. It actually started the first fight being with uh, someone that Jonah seemed to know. Um, I just blanked on his name. Jimmy the <coughs> Jimmy the Death signed up to fight 
Jack Walker first. It was a quick fight, a little one-sided. Jimmy the Deaf, though, a little? trying to land a couple blows, did get taken out pretty quickly. The next fight was uh, I Jonah think he threw himself. one whole punch. Yeah, yeah, like I said, a, a fast fight. Jonah was the next fighter, and he went toe-to-toe with, with him for a few rounds. Probably about three or four rounds in, it looked like uh, both people were trying to kill one another. And then out of nowhere, an angel appeared into the crowd and flew down and lifted Jack up and out of sight of the crowd. The whole time, Barnabas was helping the crowd understand the Lord's work and, and how the hand of the Lord worked in this case as Jack appeared amongst them, falling from a great height and knocking himself out. Immediately after that, um, the fights were ended and people were asked to leave. Through uh, While people were scrambling and leaving, Barnabas did go through and, and perform a couple miracles for the Lord, healing both unconscious fighters. Right, Patrick. To full health, I might add. Then the, the group split up. Half of them left, and the other half sort of stayed around. Um, Dustin and Amaya stayed to talk to Jack a little bit, and Barnabas, Bill, and Jonah left uh, to head back to the revival tent to make sure everything was good there. Upon uh, getting about a block and a half away from the revival tent, they were able. To, they stumbled across a murder scene where they stepped in and helped calm down a young lady named Jasmine so the police could talk to her further. Proving very helpful, the officers, you know, did uh, give you their information and took your information and said that they might be in touch as you guys left. And upon leaving, you ran into the group that stayed behind to deal with personal matters at the carnival. And all of you decided to go back to the revival tent just as a way to see what was going on and maybe meet each other. And the whole time, Bill Sender just kept looking at each of you in turn, just almost like he thinks he knows you from somewhere. And that's the end of that recap. As you can see, So how much of that did I see? Yeah, all of it. Not a yeah. Including thing. him looking at me? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I even told you earlier that you looked familiar. Yes, blind guy. No, but, but I know you that you're still looking at me like I looked at him. <laughs> you also told him, are you sure you're blind? Several so, times. I mean, I mean, so did you. <laughs> I did. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're going to pick this up. Still being the evening of the 30th of June. And you guys are... Just made it back to the revival tent. Everything seems to be in order. Nothing is moved out of place. It's all ready to go for your uh, for your sermons starting the next day. That we can tell. What do you guys do? Well, it's about 10 p.m. Just glad to let you guys know. Is the Piggly Wiggly still open? Um, no, no. Piggly Wiggly actually closed about a half hour ago. The Piggly Wiggly is closed at 9 o'clock. Well, this one stayed open a little bit later. They were helping set up the tent. I've been to Georgia before. I know. <laughs> well, hey. There should be a stash of something drinkable in, in my tour bus. Oh, yeah. Yeah, in your tour bus, you know, it actually, uh, Marcus helped uh, load up your tour bus a little bit. You do see a few extra supplies in there with a little note that says, you know, Hope this helps last you until tomorrow. I'm supposing my truck is right in front of the tour bus, right? Um, kind of. Yeah, sort of. It, it's like uh, the tour bus. So here's the tent, and then the tour bus, and people can see where the mm -hmm. the preacher goes. And then behind that's the truck with the trailer for everything to be loaded into. Gotcha. So yeah, it's, it's right there in that area. I'm just going to go back to my truck, pop it open. Grab one of the beers that are probably just inside on the passenger seat, just under the under the chair. Grab one of those, pop it open, and then start chugging it down. Anyone want to buy one of those? All right, hey. Who are you again? Bill Sunder. <laughs> and how many bills do you send? Uh, <laughs> well, you got it. Got to get into character, sorry. Got to get the accent. Now, Jones, <laughs> come on. Before we start ribbing our guests, we need at least need to like put some drink in. Just, you gotta answer the question before I'm able to give you a beer because you gotta amuse me, okay? Just my, just to my clients. 
Go for it. That tossy one. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so, I get your deal. I get your deal. Still don't think you're blind. Who are you? Who are you two? Am I a black stone? Were you talking about my shadow? Oh, over here? Giggles yes. and the Yangtze raccoon. Yes. I am not a raccoon. Right. Well, no, that a, one's an Yangtze raccoon. Is this a person that tell. does not have shaven? So. And um, the not. other one's Giggles. I don't know where she is. <laughs> Found her. Okay. <laughs> 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 so both of you guys are from the carnival too? No. No. But you guys were at like the fight, so I, well, at least I know you were. Like you look like the you came down and, and saved him. I still don't remember supposedly. anything that you're talking about. I just saved remember getting kicking the shit out well, of that I guy. Well, I mean, I see the stunt, you know, messed up, and I'm sure you guys practice that every, all the, every week, and you know, like. What is he talking about? He thinks we've seen each other before. I've never seen you before in my life. I can assure you. And you still haven't. But you're like you're, you're like the angel that came down and saved him, you know. Well, right? now you two. Step if you're not part of the carnival, what are you doing here? I mean, are you just passing through? Are you, are you, residents of this great fine city of Atlanta? And sorry, you're looking for who? Her. You're looking for her. Is like, is is this? Is, is this a a Tinder matchup? Oh, what? <laughs> What's that? <laughs> uh, it it is a is a tooless sin. Never mind. So I get this oh, weird feeling. Okay. Like I, I don't really understand why I'm I'm really drawn to like. I mean, I was told to get out, you know, and have a little fun, uh, and I did. And it was really good meeting you guys. But there's just something that like. I feel like we're supposed to be together and do something, but like I, I don't understand what and like this pairing doesn't I really make exactly, sense. I know exactly, exactly what has happened. You have been touched by God. You have Hell been sent. Yeah. You have been sent to, 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 to experience the, the magnificence, the, the wonder that is, uh, the, 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 the ministry that I, I do. Mm. That's not it. Preach it, priest. So Pre I have an idea. <laughs> uh, well, it seems like I have a uh, a new business opportunity coming up to me. Um, uh, opportunity. I could, I could probably use an accountant because I don't know how much money it's going to be making. Okay. Wait, no, he's my accountant. You already said so. Well, he's our accountant. Well, do you want him to bill you? I want him to send me some bills. <laughs> <laughs> Post night are going to be terrible, folks. I'm sorry. <laughs> I have nothing to do with it for once. But if I'm I not mistaken, Giggles offered me a job earlier. You mean Shadow over here? Giggles. Shadow. Yeah, wherever she is. Yeah. What what job what job are you offering? I am here on a mission. Ooh, that sounds fancy. So I'm here on a mission too. What is your mission? Is she bringing the good word of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, to the people of Atlanta? No, but I want to save them. Well, hey, I welcome believe. aboard. You are in the perfect space. We are, yes, we are yeah. in the business of saving people. Yeah. <laughs> and we've done it many times. Ain't so that right, preacher? How about it? So it's Bye. not that kind of mission trip, then. <laughs> so what's, what's, no. the, what's the badger story? You mean the unshaved human over here? I thought he was a raccoon. I don't know. Is he, are you a badger? No. He looks His prosthetics like look fantastic, though. I will say that. Does this look like a badger to you? It looks like an unshaved human to me. As he pulls his hood off, you guys definitely see a cat-like face. A big cat. Like a mountain lion. He I mean, is most definitely a fan of Andrew Lloyd Webber. Yeah, he just maybe. Who? Got some prosthetics on you. That's a composer. All. Yeah, I saw. He wrote a musical about like your people. Yeah. I saw something like this in the carnival. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I don't think so. As you see, claws come out and retract. I, I still think it's prosthetics. I'm just saying. Mountain lion. Mountain lion. Sorry. Mountain lion. Okay, so if you're not a badger and you're not a raccoon, are you a um, like a felonoid. coyote? A felonoid. No. No, so I don't. I don't know what this is. This is one of them cosplayers, right? No. No? I'm a ranger. 
What does that even mean? This is a jellical cat. Well, I beat the crap out of people, so I mean, there's that. I beat the crap out of this guy. I still have this feeling that let we're meant to be together. Let me ask though. you, can you I... dance and sing? No. Have you tried to dance and sing? Yes. Oh. Huh? Well, that's that's the that's the whole story. He couldn't make it on Broadway. <laughs> Broadway. <laughs> There's a whole musical devoted to your kind. So, what do you guys preach? You guys preach about the Lord, and Savior, and whatnot. Of course. I mean, what else is there to preach about? Why do you travel though? Why don't you just set up a church? Because he's amazing. He's got to spread the word of the Lord to everyone. Okay, so. If I set up a church and remain in one area, okay. one of my gifts is gift of healing. And that is not something that I, that you should make people travel to to, to receive. My, my philosophy is that in order to spread the blessings of the Lord, I'm most effective when I bring it to, to people that are too lazy to get off their asses and travel a hundred miles to see me. Amen. Okay. So we are mobile. And uh, that also uh, and that also negates uh, certain uh, expenses such as rent and uh, property tax. Um, I mean, we take in a good amount of, of money to support the ministry enough to keep us in gasoline. Yep. And uh, and uh, our vehicle fees, and you know, uh, uh, the decent, respectable amount of of of, of enjoyment of uh, life. Okay. And you know, I went about actually hauling a variety of different so things up until I met the preacher over here. Anyone that is glancing at the felonoid Dustin would notice that he is cleaning himself at this point. Licking your balls. He's off. I'm gonna okay. walk off oh, the okay. shadows. Well, he said cleaning himself. <laughs> okay, so, it's you're, like... so you guys are in the tour bus at this point. Mm -hmm. Inside. Yeah. I'm walking out. Okay. So, <laughs> so you see, see him start cleaning himself. She gets up, looks at him, and starts walking out of the bus. I actually walk out at their comments. Oh, okay. Which ones? All of them. All of them. <laughs> <laughs> Do I have to explain myself? <laughs> I didn't oh, offend well, you, did I? Look, I you're fantastic. You did great on stage. Wait, hold up, Shadow. I actually haven't gotten your name yet. <laughs> Amaya Blackstone. Ah, huh. okay. Well, nice to meet you. I heard you may have helped me, but I I still figure I won that fight fair and square. A pleasure. Maybe you can have a rematch someday. Maybe, maybe. So, Amaya, I have a question for you. You say that you are uh, wanted to save the people of this fine city of Atlanta. Um, I do mine through spiritual salvation. Um, what do you do? How do you how do you propose to save the people of Atlanta? Is there a, a danger coming? Not necessarily Atlanta, but the world at large. I believe the Corinthian Empire has targeted Earth. The the what? evil people who wiped out Corinthians. I'm sorry, the what? They're aliens. No I'm such thing alien. as aliens. I'm a alien. You know, you're just a human. <laughs> so have you seen her? Tell have, you? I, have I seen what? Have you seen her? Oh, are you wings? Are your wings I've seen out? Her. No, they're not I've seen out him. Right okay. They're both so just humans. Pops them out. No. Well, they're probably going to pop out in anger. Okay, so yeah, so... And, like, break a window or something. So she goes, as my wings in... You see these, there, there's an interesting sound of electricity and metal as her wings sprout out, big I get down. metallic black wings. One of them goes right through your door. You I don't leave them off. Oh, well that's cool. Did you make that yourself? <laughs> that is actually no. some really cool tech there. Yeah. Yeah. So you got cool tech, he's got cool prosthetics, I mean it's pretty nice. Not What's being electrocuted right now? Sorry, guys, I'm still here. Oh. <laughs> uh, All I hear is electricity. I'm sorry, are you missing stuff? I thought you weren't blind. And breaking, and breaking. And breaking things. And breaking windows. Uh, Amaya, 
my lovely lady here uh, in order to prove that she is an alien uh, spouted metallic black wings and uh, they made uh, an electrical noise and put a hole in the, the door of my, my bus. I'm sorry. Well, that's fine. Yeah. Hold on. So I, think I, I, think I, I think I'm starting to understand why I'm attracted to this group right here. Because we're all weirdos, I guess, or they're weirdos? No, 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 no. Not normal. He's okay, normal. Okay, so I've had, <laughs> I've had, like, really bad dreams for the last couple of years, and in my dreams, they're, they're, they're recurring, uh, and we are trying to stop this presence there, and uh, I, I, get, I get this feeling that there is, like, somebody with wings there, there is an animal-type creature there, uh, and just very unique, gifted people and I feel like I'm so comfortable around you guys because I'm constantly seeing things like this in my dreams. Uh, I know it, they're just dreams, but, and, and some people say that they mean something, some people say they don't, but I, I just like unique people, and this is, this is fun. This is cool. It's good to meet you guys. So you are one of the people I'm looking for. What? So maybe you're one of the people I was looking for. No, I heard you, but I don't know. <laughs> what? <laughs> who I'm are you looking, looking for? for people who can save the world. I think you got. I used to be a drug addict. Uh, I'm pretty sure these dreams are from that. So, no, 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 Bill, Bill, Bill. Do not discount yourself because of your checkered past. Um, even if you were the most vile villain, if you have turned over a new leaf, then God has a plan for you. And that plan could include great. I mean, and you think that I can save the world? I gotta be honest. It sounds Anybody like anybody can save the world. All it takes is faith. It sounds like you might be a prophet or something. I'm just saying. Yeah. <laughs> You're prophesizing. You're believing stuff might come to be yeah, true. Yeah, problem. To be My true. very distinctive looking. But um, let me say this: If you were to say travel along uh, with, uh, say, our ministry then perhaps um, people would be less uh, inclined to notice your alienness and uh, since you are not exclusively focused on Atlanta well we do travel around the United States along the highways and byways of this great land and uh, so it might be an opportunity for you to scope out your area that you want to focus on. I I'm agree. just putting this out there. How you liking that beer, by the way? Uh, well, it tastes like piss, which is pretty good. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. Anybody else want a beer? I'm going to go grab another one. because No, thanks. I still have Guinness. It tastes like piss, so it's pretty good. Wait, you got the beer, too? Yeah. <laughs> it's the best Guinness money could make. Be in. Are you sure you don't want a beer? <laughs> Are you sure you don't want a beer? Mine are pretty good. John, pretty good for the hot weather. I go to the fridge. I was like, we do have some whole milk, or we do have some whiskey. Whole milk and whiskey and beer sounds like a good combination to me. What kind of whiskey? Glass? <laughs> I could put it in a in a dish. You can put I it in a can. I don't know your preference at all. What 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 kind of whiskey? He grabs his water skin and drinks. I'm oh, out okay. Of the bus. Really well, hey, you're a cat person. Mm -hmm. uh, I thought maybe Walking you drank out. Uh, out of okay. the dishes. Just sneaking out, told no one okay. I'm telling you, he's just a regular person. Milk? Just almond milk. Just, uh... What sort of milk do you drink? Do you drink milk? Do you drink beer? No. Oh. No, no beer? That's a shame. It makes it about a good. What kind of person are you? Come on, man. No he, beer, no milk. He's a, he's a cat person. There's no such thing as a cat person. What kind of whiskey? Any type you want is what would have been put in there. <laughs> Joshua. Okay, um, if uh, on a serious discussion, what kind of whiskey <laughs> is this stocked in Barnabas's uh, bus? I would think uh, Glen Morangi 18 year reserve. Okay, so that's single that's what malt. He says. I'm getting fucking hot, so I'm taking the damn jacket off. <laughs> it's not Irish. <coughs> well, thank you for being in character for a little bit. <laughs> damn, I think so. Unless, unless <laughs> your character's also taking the jacket off. No. 
<laughs> they yeah. might. The bus might be a little warm. Right. <laughs> I mean, it is Georgia in the summer. Just yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, they, so. they, the locals do call it hot Atlanta. It's not hot yet. Christine, roll perception roll for me. So while you guys are having your conversation. Eleven. Okay. So um, you step out of the bus while they're discussing drinks. You, yeah, slip, I... you slip out. To look for my cat. Start looking around. And you notice somebody's watching the bus. Uh, about 30 seconds behind her. Well, no, no. You're having the conversation. She actually... I stealth out. Yeah, stealth out. All right. So you, you notice there's someone watching the bus. From the shadows across the street, you see a guy wearing a hoodie, dressed very similar to Dustin. Thanks. Sort of like watching you guys from the shadows. He moves a little bit and he's sort of standing there. About the same height, him? same build as Dustin. Can I tell if he's seen me? Um, roll perception roll again. Six. So you sort of like move to the side, try to stealth away to see if his eyes track you. And at first it, he doesn't you know, he's looking, the head is pointed towards the bus, but after a few moments, sort of moves off in the same direction you went, and then back to the bus. Can't really see any features because of shadows. And it's nighttime. And it's dark. Oh. <laughs> and he's outside of your range of your... Uh, but I have... Oh. Outside the range. Yeah. So I have an option to either go after him all alone, which doesn't sound good, or to just go back inside the bus. Two. Or third option, walk a different direction. You're not all there. <laughs> <laughs> so resuming the conversation. Yeah. Of course, we do not have ice. We have these uh, these cubes that uh, that are, are, are really cold. But they do not melt, so they do not dilute the power of the spirit. Spirit of the whiskey. <coughs> Amen. <laughs> that was bad. Oh, God loves some good whiskey. He's looking around for her. Yeah, you, you notice she's gone. He immediately heads towards the front of the bus. Okay. So, you, there's a slight lull in conversation. You guys see Dustin stand up and make a beeline towards the bus. You hear do we the see, bathroom is that way. Do we see your, feet shuffling? Trevor. Do we see his tail behind the? No. Okay, so you don't. Okay, you, you don't see his his tail, but he is wearing a very fuzzy belt. Okay. Why are you being so <laughs> odd, prosthetic cat man? <laughs> So right as you get to the front door, you're ignoring what they're saying. You, know, you guys hear a low growl as you make the process <laughs> steady cat man comment. The bus door opens. Well, not opens because it was broken. Um, you'd see her come stepping back in as you're about to step out. Are you all right, Amaya? Someone's watching us. Hmm. I think it's a Corinthian. John. I'd like to roll to see if I left one of my weapons in the, in the bus. Because I'm imagining I might have uh, one in my okay, truck. Go ahead. Bus. Are the windows on, the, on both sides of the bus open? Um, I Do believe the windows are closed. One or two dice. Two. Add them together. Uh, so four. And seven. That's a seven. So. Seventeen. Yeah. yeah. So you're 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 a no, little. No, nineteen. You're you're a little. Tire thumper right. slash bat. Oh, is, right. is that, is, that's what you're looking for? <laughs> uh, I'm looking for either the, the thumper or the shotgun. Yeah, no, they're both not on you. Okay. Yeah. No, right. I, was, I was thinking not necessarily on me, but in yeah. the bus. Somewhere yeah, yeah. hidden. Neither of them are in the bus. They're both yeah. in your truck. So okay. are we talking more of a Isaac Asimov or more of a um, H.G. Uh, Wells kind of aliens thing here? Does it... What? Uh... As an alien, okay. I don't think she would have heard of those. No offense. John. Just got here. Can I use the open windows? Hold on. Look. What open windows? It's a tour I said, bus. I said all the windows are closed. Okay. It's a tour bus. Them. It's a tour bus. They don't open. Hmm? It's a tour <laughs> bus. They don't open. 
continue the conversation. Um, okay, so are we talking like they're going to come in giant machines and destroy the Earth? Or are we talking like more political sort of things going on here? Like what, what, a, what kind of... Um, I just want to ask real quick. Aren't there more pressing concerns than asking about her supposed alien... Is there more pressing concerns? I know, that's what I'm saying. One more pressing concern is going to fight that thing. It's outside. Maybe it's about what he's capable of. He steps outside and goes around the front of the bus. Okay, so you step outside. Disappear. Roll a perception roll. Am I scared? Yeah. Yeah. Nineteen? You don't see the person that she's talking about. You step around the front of us. You don't see the person. I'm gonna, I'm gonna step outside as well and just kind of peer into the darkness. Do I roll for that then? Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sorry. Just, just in my, in my you head. Peer into the darkness. <laughs> yeah. in, in my head, I, I heard the. There's like an old like comedy thing of. A fire sure magic the missile. Darkness. At what? The darkness. And that just popped in my head as you said that. I'm just like. Have to have to give myself a second. Uh, uh, Fourteen. He's got his mage hat on. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> I'm sorry. What? You have the hands, did you? Okay. Yes, I know. And you don't see him. Fourteen. Okay. So you. I'm still very skeptical about this whole you alien step outside, thing. So. You don't. You don't see. Anybody? Like you don't. Dustin just left right in front of you, and you step out, and you don't even see Dustin. He's like not there. Guys, I don't see anything out here. Then I'm gonna go out. The woods or wherever I saw him. So you, like, literally you stepped out and you saw him across the street from the bus. Mm-hmm. So you step out, you look, and he's not there anymore. Well, what are you thinking, preacher man? Should we take this blind guy with us and go try to check this out, too? I mean, I'm just trying to figure out what kind of a threat we're dealing with here. I mean, you won't be able to see it anyways. It doesn't matter. <laughs> well, I mean, that's fair, no, but maybe I, I could help <laughs> strategize or something. Amiya? I'm clearly the I only one in this you, group that reads. Because I'm very curious about what you're talking about. And it's going to be fun. Now, I Jonas, you go. know, we okay. are a very distinctive bus. And Hold it. There Hold are gawkers all around. Did you just call me Jonas? You can see you step oh, out. Oh, we've been driving together. Okay. Come on, man. <laughs> Wait a minute. Real quick. What's which which way did you Jonah? go out Jonah? past oh, the bus? <laughs> so you, uh, you yeah, stepped out you in front of, and then be, there's a semi behind it. Do you go that way, or are you heading towards the tent? I actually headed to the other side of the bus to climb up on top. And okay. Okay, so, so you went between the bus and the semi. Okay, this is important. And you're standing just right up front of the bus. You're up front of the bus. You start walking out of the bus. You guys are talking. Right as that happens, I need all of you to roll perception rolls. Uh, 16. 13. 28. No, 38. 28. 28. 24. <laughs> Can't do math today. 22. Okay. So, the easy thing to notice is the whole bus shakes. However, let's, let, I'll build it up from there. What the people in front of the bus sees is you'd see a person come flying out of the alleyway between a couple buildings across the street, back first, person's in a hoodie, flying out of the alleyway, hits the bus, goes through a window, the whole bus rocks and falls towards you as you're trying to get up on the bus. And it actually, it does more than the shocks can do and literally the bus starts falling over. So inside you guys see this guy come flying through the window, in through one window, hits between a, you know, he's got his arms out trying to stop him. You see fur, you see claws, Stopping, trying to stop himself, grabbing things, hits the other window. It doesn't quite break. He kicks off of a table and finishes pushing his way through that window. Big hole through his hoodie. It looks like a big, big burn mark. You see fur. You see burnt skin and a couple bones. He's just like flailing, and you hear Arr! as he's trying to, to get out and eventually busts out and slips out through the window. Now, when, you say, her alien? when you say, er, you mean like cat growl, er, no. or is it human? It sounded just like I said. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, 
you need to make an agility roll because you're just about to step out of the bus as the whole bus starts to fall. Six. You two need to make an agility roll. You need to make an agility roll. You two are like, there's that. <laughs> Seven. Um, you, what'd you roll for perception? Ten? Okay, yeah, that's all you saw. What did you you say? rolled a 16? Yeah. Okay, you'd have seen a, a slight flash of light okay. right before the guy just rocketed into the bus. Uh, I rolled a 7 for my agility. What is your agility? And uh, my agility is 6. I rolled a 22 for my perception. Okay, yeah, so you would have seen that. Um, <coughs> you also would have, like, as the guy hit, you would have seen the trajectory, both of you would have seen which area he came flying out of towards you guys. Mm -hmm. um, you guys, with your high, stupid high rolls, um, also would have hear, heard the sound of coins. Coins? Hitting the inside of the bus. I okay. had a 13, did I hear him? Um, you would have, what was your agility? Six. Okay, you rolled a six? Yep. Okay, so you're actually falling backwards. You're falling oh, towards God. the front of the book bus. So I rolled a 12, my agility is five. Okay, and you, as this whole thing is happening, the bus is pitching, you're grabbing on a, onto a table, and you're not falling, but you probably want to, right. because the you're whole right. bus is going <laughs> sideways. You're riding the wave. As you then hear, you know, all of this is happening, the bus actually hits <laughs> the trailer of your truck and stops from completely falling over. Mm -hmm. What was your agility? All together, 28. Okay, so you manage to, like, you're starting to climb, it's falling, you let go, drop, roll, under the trailer as the bus hits. You hear the person hit beside you with a dull thud. What and happened to my moving. keg? How close is he? It fell out of your hand and is now under the... Can't see a thing. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's yeah. How close is he? Um, <clears throat> about 10 feet. I'm on him. Okay, but you'd have to go back under to get to him. Now, with my 28, so, would I have seen something more than what I saw? N unfortunately, no, because... Yeah. I mean, both of you might have thought you saw a small flash, but it's inside of a bus. It's really hard. It's tinted <laughs> windows, tour bus. All hard right. to see out in the darkness. A a alien, um, alien. And oh, I need at this point for everyone to roll an initiative just so we can keep track of who's doing what and when. 1d10, add it to your base. I don't know what my base is. Right. Eight. Okay, you are going <laughs> on a... 22. Now, can Three. we can we crit fail an initiative? No. <laughs> just means you go really slow. John, I have a 25. I also had a 25. <coughs> I also had a 22. What do you mean, also? Oh. Oh. 11. Damn, you're going ass last. I know. I'd say crit, crit fail. <laughs> that's, a, that's as close to crit fail. Okay, so we're going to start off with our 34. What do you do? You saw the guy come flying backwards, so obviously he didn't purposefully fly into it. So where am I in relation to him? So the bus toppled behind you. He went into the bus and through the bus, and it toppled behind you. So he's that way. He flying out of the alley across the street. <coughs> and did I get any kind of look at his face? Did I see fur? Um, you, you got no look at the face whatsoever. He was moving that fast. Um, approximately, I mean, trying to gauge speeds and cars are new to you, but you'd guess probably about 25 miles an hour is about how fast he hit the bus. <laughs> As far as you know, he went into the bus, and you'd have to climb into the bus to okay. find where he went. I'm going to climb in, because that's okay. the best I've got. So you turn around, you see Jack, like, sprawled into the driver's chair. The bus is a little elevated, so you'll have to make an agility roll to climb into the bus, or just flap your wings and fly in, your choice. <laughs> I like wings. Okay. If they don't, like, I mean, you can... you. You're skilled using them, so you could actually fly up and even go in the hole he went in if you wanted, making it easier so you don't have to yeah. walk diagonally. Okay, so you pop your wings, or you fly, you land, you go in the hole, you see him actually beyond the bus on the ground outside. You're able to easily slip through, pulling your wings in with your agility and your acrobatic skills. 
slip through. You guys inside the bus would see her just whoop, follow him through the bus. 25s. I'm confused. Was or was that not the alien? <laughs> So, I'm in the bus. You're in the bus. You'd hear him say that. You guys could... Anyone can respond. You don't have to be on your initiative to respond to things. Am I still hanging off the table? Yeah, you're, you're <laughs> hanging on the table. The bus is, is <laughs> fancy. You guys would all hear... Was I'm confused. Was that or was that not the alien? I heard money drop. Hmm. I'm just saying. So, I claim I'm going to poke my head out of the entry. Mm-hmm. So... Uh, poor unfortunate soul. Went through the bus. I'm going to the entry hole. Okay. So poke so my head out. And look out. Okay. And say, I say, I say, uh, that is so rude to, to, to fling somebody through my bus. You Roll. better come out here and, and we'll reckon on how you're going to fix this situation. Okay, so you're trying to convince them or are you trying to do hmm? a perception roll? What are you trying to do? Oh, I'm, um, I think he's trying to. Yell I'm going at to him. project a sense of guilt into okay. that, that, that area. Roll. And that general area over that way. Mm -hmm. He's got a nine rank, so it's, it's a good distance. 80 feet. Oh, 80, feet. 80 feet out. It's an 11. That 80 feet is going to be guilty. Okay. Okay, I'll let you know how that turns out. Um, so, Jack, you say. I, that that I mean, I don't know what I'm. I don't know. I don't know what I'm looking to do here. Okay, so you just sort of. Scrambling where you're at. Um, I'll tell you more when, you know, because you're getting there. Um, to be fair, I also don't know where I am right now. <laughs> 22s. <coughs> so nothing unusual then. But then I'm, again, you never know where you are, right? 22. No. Bill and Dustin. I'm on him. Okay. So, Bill, I'll get to you in a second. Uh, Bill is still processing what just happened and is so now... You're, you're like, ah, and then she flew and went in, and you're like, wow, and, and I, something about guilt. Yeah, and, I'm, <laughs> and I'm thinking, I'm starting to feel bad for not believing because flashlight and green. And, are they really aliens? Is that really a cat person? Did I... That's my thought process Okay, right now. perfect. Okay, and uh, you come back under and you, you get over to him right as Amaya lands. Um... But before I tell you what you see, you're gonna, holding on to the table, dude. So I'm going to let go and just say, I climbed that money, and I'm going to just go scrounge around for the coins that I heard. Okay, roll <laughs> a perception roll. Meanwhile, the two of you, roll a perception roll. Six. Okay, you don't find it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well. Okay, so you both can tell it's an animal person of some sort. You do see the fur and the bone and the... You can smell singed flesh and fur, and there's not blood, but there's blood on the hoodie Cauter where it was. Cauterized? Yeah, cauterized. Um, <coughs> the hood has fallen back. You see a, a animalistic face, and you recognize James. James Casper is laying there on his back, trying to move. Every time he does, there's a... James, stop. James, stop. You get into his medical kit. Okay, so you start busting out your medical kit. You know him? Yes. And I'm pretty sure he's not a Corinthian because they don't have... Fur. The people that they wiped out. Correct. And, you know, normally Corinthian. I mean, they, he might have been a mercenary, but Dustin seems to know him. So I do Dustin's, first aid, too. Okay. I team up. Okay, so uh, which one of you has the higher rank of medicine? Probably not me. Three. Six. Okay, so you make the roll. You'll have bonuses. Do I know where I, I am in relation to the uh, carnival? Mm -hmm. um, you were down the street. 32? So you know roughly. Can you hand me my screen, please? It's just right there. Thirty-two. Okay, yeah. So you guys patch him up pretty good, um, for what you can do. I mean, right? He's he's not feeling very good. Meanwhile, topside, Bill, um, um, you uh, 
you're you're sitting there, you know, trying to process it, and you see coming out of the alleyway a person. You're guessing it's a person, although it's too big to be a person that you're used to. I mean, you know that there's basketball players yeah. in the world, and you know there's people seven feet tall, but this guy, he's pushing eight feet, and he's pushing about three and a half, four feet wide at the shoulders, and there's like a slight glow, like reflected light on his shoulders and on half of his face, and you see a glowing red eye as he comes out of the alley moving towards the bus. Very slowly and very purposefully. Right. Company, Cast company, company, we have company, company, we have company! And you would see that as well because you're sticking your head out. Don Tootin, we have company. He's going to pay me back for his whole this whole mess that he's made in my butts. So we're not inviting them over for drinks? <laughs> and you'd hear under the bus, you'd hear, Company, company, we've got company! I'd probably freak out and leave the okay. first aid. Yeah, so you guys would finish your first aid and then, okay. I mean, it wouldn't be, there's not a lot you guys can do. You're bandaging, he, he's, you know, you're handing him stuff and he's wrapping it and so it's, it's not going to take that long. What, you, what kind of company do we have? Hold up. Can you just tell him to wait a minute while I'm trying to look for these coins? No. Why not? Come on. I, uh, tell him to give me some time. I'm sorry. Can I I'm, turn around and book it the other way? The I'm in the middle of a negotiation. He's coming? Uh, he's coming towards the bus. The bus is behind you. Um, you can round around the front of the bus. and I, I'll run. do that. Okay. <laughs> and you would see Bill go, ah, and he turns and runs. And you hear me call for you. I need, I need a hand. Can <laughs> anybody tell me what's going on? <laughs> it's a Corinthian. John. He's after us. Travelers. <laughs> right? <laughs> well, there's so this, it's time to fight. This is, um, let's see. If you were in a, in a fantasy film. Oh, wait a minute. You don't watch movies. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Maya. It's been a number of years. What are we dealing with here? The Terminator? You start the round. Yes! <laughs> yes! <laughs> How far is he from me? Um, so you can look under the bus because it's canted and you can see him. He is a good 150 feet easily from you. It was farther, but he's closed the distance. Slowly. Walk. So he's two bus lengths away. Yeah. <laughs> Well, obvious. He's just gonna pay for the damage <laughs> to this bus. He spilled my beer. From I don't even know where that is. As he gets into the light more, um, you can tell that most of him seems robotic in nature. Um, there is some flesh, some skin, but he looks like a classic-looking cyborg. Hmm. I'm gonna fly up, get out, yeah. and then fly okay. towards him and up. Okay. So you scramble under the bus. You get out, fly. <coughs> You're looking at him walking, you see her just come flying up right in front of you. And up into the sky. Well, young lady, I think that we found your alien. Although, he's more like a Arnold Schwarzenegger on steroids. <laughs> Do I hear him? Um, you can, yeah, he's, he's good at projecting his voice being a orator, so. I'm not, so I'm not answering. Okay. I'm a little busy. <laughs> Okay, so you fly up, you can attack if you want. So I can high dive and then martial artist, or just... What is the rank of your flight? Good question. Four? Okay, so you can actually go 25 feet this round. So you're not going to be able that to make it the whole time, the whole distance to him. So you can prep if you have any distance attacks. Where's you I can try to do him? that. Um, like if you have a weapon or either. things like that. I don't. We decided I was hand to hand. Okay, that's fine. That's so you're closing the distance. You're flying up and sort of circling, trying to gauge a good time to attack him, sort of thing. Being smart about it. Okay, that was thirty fours, twenty fives. Mm -hmm. Preacher man, I normally would never ask something like this of you. But, um, is there any way you could sober me up? <sighs> Far be it for me to deny healing for 
for Just the soberness. That's all I'm looking for. Hmm? How big of an aura does he have? Eh, you know. Is he, is he close to me? Um, he, so you were at, in the bus, you're mm -hmm. sort of sprawled out near the hole, mm -hmm. you'd heard Dustin yell, you know, I need your help, and he is half the bus length away from you. So, no, also, like, somebody could help me Because he's near the, the door. front door, but he's at the driver's seat, literally. He fell into the driver's seat. Great, the blind man's in the driver's seat, we're screwed. Yeah. <laughs> so, right, the bus Hey, I could anywhere. be in between <laughs> the seat and the steering wheel. Well. You know what? At least I'm in the chair. Oh, that's well within my <laughs> movement, I think. Yeah, you could easily get to him. All right. Well, well you, you have asked. You'd have to roll uh, an agility roll because it's canted. It's not flat. So. How about a 13? Okay. Yeah, you're able to make it to him. Just double ones, you'd have fallen out on top of the guy that they just bandaged. Yeah, that's, right. that's why I was saying roll. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's see. He doesn't seem to be injured anyways. So. No, no, he doesn't. But you can do a healing on him. I'll do a healing on him. Okay. Roll. Nine. Okay. He touches you, and you feel sober. Any other damage you may have had, which was all gone anyway, is gone again. Um, it's extra gone. It's extra gone, and you are sober. Right. Oh. And which way is the door? Mm -hmm. I point his arms towards the door. Diagonal up. There, there you go. Right there. <laughs> <laughs> I would like to get out of the van. <laughs> <laughs> so you, so you're round. You're going to be getting out. I need you to make an agility roll to get out of. <laughs> Double nines. Thank you. Followed by nine, so twenty-seven. Okay. So, so you, you point at him. He's like, okay, right. Grabs a hold of where he's at. Wants him so forward. Jumps, grabs, and he actually gets out, even though it's at a weird angle. You see him drop. It out of your field of view. Um, oh, shoot. He was a, a blind monkey man. Okay, 22s. I'm... How, how weird is he now? I know Bill's running, so I don't have to ask him what he's doing. How, how bad off the <laughs> Um, You stabilized him. Okay, so I can't move him at all. Yeah, no, he's he probably should stay where he is, or maybe you could slide him under the trailer, but that's about it. Looks like the bus is pretty secure propped against the trailer. So unless something happens to the trailer. I'm going to actually scoot him away from everything just to make sure. So you're going to spend your turn dragging him out under the trailer and then out away from the trailer? Yeah. Okay. And, and as you're calling, running. Calling for Preacher Man again. Yep. Pretty much demanding. So, 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 so say it. Don't, don't tell me. Say it. I just want to make a quick announcement. I'm uh, very thankful for the person in chat who donated 100 bits for Rafa. Thank you. Thank you, yeah, Rafa. You're welcome. You're Thank welcome. you, Rafa, for, for doing the... Did you uh, do it yourself? Yeah, okay. Wait, yeah. why aren't you donating, donating for anyone else? Stop being It's greedy. going to the <laughs> show! <laughs> <laughs> and this is how fights begin. <laughs> fight? <laughs> Yeah, right? Oh. right? Yeah. Okay. Be there so, in a moment. So, you're running. Uh, I'm assuming you're still running. I'm running. Okay. I've yeah. never seen anything like this in my life. Except and I dreams. am scared because I don't want these dreams to come true. And yep. I'm surprised I haven't pissed myself. Could I have, do I have to roll to I piss myself? Um, yeah, actually, it's a will roll. <laughs> uh, six. Okay. No, no. Um, He's got a double. Doubles. You, can, you oh. can choose to roll again or you can be happy with the six. Uh, so, 15? Okay, yeah, no, no, no you haven't yet. that's not right. You haven't pissed yourself yet? Yeah, 9, 15, yeah, okay. Yeah, you, you haven't relieved your bowels, but you feel like you want to. Okay. You are definitely <laughs> afraid. You're rolling well, up a little bit. If it makes bit. you feel How any better, I also haven't seen anything happens. like this in my life. <laughs> you're, you're damning against the breach, is what it is. That's all it is. Okay, nice. and, um, Jonah? Uh, I'm gonna do one last, like, quick scramble to see if I can find any coins. Okay. God damn it. Just do a, a quick glance around. Uh, ten. Can you no. grab me nope. uh, some, okay, uh, like, some substitute so I'm going to get up and just kind of like run out the uh, front entrance of the bus. Runish. You know, run sort of make your way over there. Yeah, because uh, it's kind of like a weird yep. sideways run. Uh, so I'm going to make my way over there and then agility roll to get out. Yes. Okay. Well, agility roll to get there and out. So just okay. agility roll, it's fine. Uh, Eleven. 
Okay, so you're able to, I mean, it's not as easy as you, in your brain, like, yeah, and I'll just jump off of this and, and step there and, whoa, stumble, stumble. Okay, Actually, I'm do I add my agility to that? No. No. Okay. No, 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 no. So you're like, oh, stumble. Okay, wait. Oh, got it, got it. Okay, yep. And you eventually do get out. Okay. You would hear Jonah making his way towards you. You glance over, you see him, like, navigating-ish the, uh, the bus, and then he gets to where Jack just left, and he sort of kind of follows Jack's way out, but not quite as smooth. And I'm just going to land. Not as smooth as a blind man. I'm going to land on the ground real quick. And I'm guessing I'm probably going to land because it's slanted, right? So I'm going to land. I'm going to look down and look back up. And I'm just going to be like, ah, not Gator. Okay. Yeah. Who's responsible? You hear that. He's right beside you. (laughs) (laughs) Who's responsible for this? Now there's a Gator? (laughs) What? What'd you say? Where's the Gator? It's right in front of me. Three. Am I fighting a gator oh, or am I fighting an alien? I am so confused. Why, was, so, why uh, would you fight gator? Gator done, gator's done nothing to you. Roll a perception roll. <laughs> so the guy starts walking. He's continuing to walk closer. Um, I take you do the whole Jason walk? No, not quite. More like more like the Terminator walk. You okay. know, it's, just, it's, 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 it's deliberate. But Jason. not as slow okay. as Voorhees. Come on. <laughs> John. John. 34. Okay, yeah, you'd see the guy walking towards <laughs> I think I straight did. out of a sci-fi movie. You're, you're thinking, you know, certain movies like Terminator, Predator. You know, the guy's walking very, looking around. Any if, character. If we come across a Predator, I'm leaving. <laughs> Any character like that in Time Bandits by chance? Oh, God. God damn it. <laughs> I don't think so. No, damn it. No, I, I don't remember. Is there a character like that in Time Bandits? No, but there is not. A, a robo... No. Killer no. kind of guy? Yeah, no. I didn't think so. Um, no, nope. I, I watched man. it last week. No, it's <laughs> That'd not. be amazing. Um, <laughs> Correlation. <laughs> he, he closes the distance. Um, so now he is about... He was 150 feet. He moves 100 feet in his turn with his deliberate walk. Do I know where he is at all yet? Um, you get a perception roll. Thank you for Wait, asking. you got Terminator over there. But he didn't... I've got a shotgun. Let me get yeah, my shotgun you actually hear him walking towards you. <laughs> You hear. Giggles, is oh, that you? Song. Or is that the guy we need to be worried about? Is that the guy I'm fighting? What does it sound like? Like you when you broke a door. I'm way up high. So you are. <laughs> <laughs> so initiative. that's the guy I'm fighting then? Yes. Yeah, you don't want to fight Gator. Fantastic. Okay. And I'm diving. Okay. I'm assuming he's close enough. Yes, he's close enough for you to attack on this turn. So, what is your agility or martial arts, whichever is higher? Agility is 7, but martial arts is 10. Okay. Let's use that. I think she got it. 7 or better? 7. Okay, you hit. Um, And you're just doing a a regular strike. Did we give you weapons? Can I see your character sheet just real quick? We considered weapons when hey, we Ryan, told can you hand me a strudel? No. Oh, what? It's true. Awesome. Oh, get the lot of strudel there. So, strawberry and cream cheese. Cool. I want an M9, but I don't know if that comes up without a certain power or skill. Um, yeah, actually, you uh, could use it. I mean, technically, it's it's just point and shoot. I mean, you'd use your agility to hit if you had that. Um, as opposed, you don't have the uh, weapons Mark. master yeah. right. skill. So you just use your agility yeah. to hit. I mean, anyone can, can grab a gun and try to shoot it. Um, so even though we don't have it on your sheet, your character could have like a knife or something like that if you wanted. Don't have to have it. I mean, being an assassin, it's up to you. So are you going to use a weapon on him or are you going to use your fists? Considering he looks like he's made out of metal. I mean, there are fleshy bits. I'm going to go for one of those then. <laughs> okay. 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 And you rolled a seven? Yes. 
Okay, um, so with the knife or a hand, I'm sorry, I forgot that. I forgot which one you're doing. Probably hands to start with. Okay, so you, you fly down and you smack him, um, so the left side of his, like, here is flesh, here is flesh, um, and then his right leg, the top part of his right leg is flesh, the rest of it looks metal. So you swing down, you hit him right here, you hit him hard, he doesn't, I mean, he moves a little bit, but you're flying full force into him. And all he does is this, and sort of stops your momentum. Um, so you're right there. Twenty fives. Right. So the only picture I have of this guy is his feet. Yeah. Well, you would actually heard of it, heard an impact from her smacking into him. Okay. So you, you've got an idea of where he is. He's about 50 feet away. But I have no real clue on his size and proportions or anything that I'm uh, well, you'd, fighting. You could hear where she hit, and so that sort of gives you the idea that he's really tall. All right, we're going we're gonna to take up an aggressive stance, sort of. Okay. Um, we're, we're probably... I mean, this guy, I think, is made out of metal. Somebody I mean, likened him to the Terminator, so we're going to go with... Uh, you think there was we're... Anyway, continue. Fifteen years ago, the Terminator was out. Continue. <laughs> um, so uh, I'm going to... Yeah, I'll, I'll go into <coughs> my uh, styles for uh, more power. Okay. I thought you were born blind. And um, he was blinded. And I'm just gonna kind of wait. Did you read his bio? Okay. Are you gonna move any closer? I can tell not. Him. Well, I mean, you could have moved closer then. Oh, that's right. Never mind. That's right. Okay. Okay. And Barnabas. Oh, hey, I've been um, summoned to help a uh, 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 poor soul in need, so I shall make my way down the incline of the bus okay, so you go back to the to hole the and uh, let myself down to see uh, uh, who, what. Roll a perception roll. I like the fact that you're sitting there watching dog videos while you're, uh... Right? <laughs> Why are you watching the dog video? I didn't know what kind of dog he was. <laughs> That's an and, like, 11. You sort of left it on. That's an 11. Uh, okay. Um, so you get down there and you look, and at first you don't see him. Mm -hmm. You're like, where is he? And then you see Dustin underneath, just past the, tr the semi, under the trailer, like pulling the guy. <laughs> so next round you'll have to make your way over to him to heal him. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that was Barnabas. Okay, next is... Um, are you keeping running? <laughs> Make another wheel roll for me. <laughs> Dustin. Uh, eight. Eight. Okay, yeah, you, uh, you're you starting to... Yeah, the right. damn burst. <laughs> you're, you're wetting yourself a little. <laughs> I mean, you, you glance... Over, the mistake was you glance over your shoulder to see what's going on as you're running, and you see her fly down and smack into it, and it just does this. And you're like, ah! Oh. <laughs> I, I unclenched for far too long. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> you're in trouble now? Just a little. Just, just a little. Just a little spurt. So, can I see the... Now? So you would, <laughs> right as you're getting your bearings and you're looking for him, you'd see Barnabas drop in your line of sight, look around for you, see you, and start making your way, his way to you. So you can move and try to get a good view, but that's about it. I'll start here. Okay, so you're staying with your dude. Okay. <coughs> Jonah. All right, I'm going to make my way towards the cabin of the truck Okay. to so find where I know my yep, uh, weapons yep, yep. are. So I'm going to get both. One in each hand. Okay. So I'm going to go pick up Thumper. No, this one's red. Thumper's a shotgun. So yep. pick up red, which is also Tire Thumper, by the way. Yep. And then I'm going to pick up my shotgun, which is named Thumper, <laughs> and have one in each hand. So the shotgun I'm going to have, like, holding by the, uh, I don't even know what would, what would be called the part that you, like, the most stock stroke. Ah. <laughs> 
barrel? The pump. <laughs> the pump? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. Gonna grip the pump. <laughs> the pump, yes. You gotta grip the part, the part that you stroke. Right. <laughs> right. Yeah. Man. Um, but anyways, the yeah. The imagery gonna, is amazing. I'm going to hold it by the pump, and then this one, obviously, okay. by the handle. We're okay. talking and about a shotgun, right? Yes. Pump shotgun. I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just got to that part. <laughs> so a pump and shotgun. And demonetized. Pump shotgun. <laughs> <laughs> we lost all of our viewers. Pump shotgun. Oh, quick, Rafa, and donate then, some money to Rafa. <laughs> pump shotgun, and then the thumb in one hand, so I'm holding it by okay. the pump, okay. holding it by the, the handle, and I'm just going to be like, you ruined gator! I'm just gonna run at him like that. Okay, so so you, <laughs> this round you're actually just getting the stuff out. Oh, okay. And then you yelled, "You ruined gator!" As you're turning around. Gotcha. Okay, and the guy moves. Well, he would move closer, but first he has somebody to deal with. Oh, hey, buddy, are you sure you don't want to just talk this out? Whatever's going on. <laughs> so you're there. You hit him. He's like, looks up at you. Found you. Do I have to roll a will roll to not freak out? <laughs> yes, please. Um, eleven. And my will is eight. You made it. You're not freaking out. Eleven, a ten or better is about what you need for a standard will roll. Um, he re <laughs> he uh, goes to grab you, and his hand goes like grabs your shoulder, but you hit and sort of like moved and he grabs where your shoulder was. <laughs> I knew if I followed the animals I'd find you. That's not Hi, Andrew, Mark. <laughs> <laughs> and it's new initiative round, but before we start a new initiative round, let's go ahead and uh, take a quick break. <laughs> so what? Round break? four. We're gonna take a break in the middle of combat, I know. I know, right? Why would we do that? Because I want to. He wants to try alcohol. Me too. Me Speaking too. Speaking of Me which. Three. So, bear Rock. with us. We are going to break. So, see you in a few. And are the mics muted? They are now. Okay, good. That's the right one. Muted mics. Got it. Well, what I was going to say is, did you remember to talk about them?
Okay, let's huh. try that again. Hey guys, welcome back. Um, hey. In game, we hit him with the shotgun. Out of game, we hit him with the shotgun. It's Locking amazing. It's, it's amazing. It's all John's fault. It's all my fault. Okay, so uh, before we get started back into combat, into round four of the combat, we're going to take yes. a, a extension of our break, but not really a break because we're obviously on screen to talk okay. about. So. We have uh, three Four Eyes Ales uh, that we're going to be trying today. Uh, the first one is the Pepino Ricardo Lager, which, sta which is a cucumber-based uh, beer. Uh, so everybody should have a sample, except for Christine, but you didn't it's want okay. any. I'm sorry. Enjoy it. Okay. So cheers, everybody. Salud. Prost. Ooh, you could really taste the cucumber. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. It's actually a really good blend. Really Normally, is. I don't like the cucumber flavor, but I really like how it mixes. Oh, I was really looking forward to the cucumber. This is my, uh, cucumber is my, my favorite vegetable. Like, because uh -huh. growing up, we would like, uh, you know, cut it uh, into little circles and put lemon and tahini on it, uh, or just uh, before tahini was really a thing, like just hot sauce, and we would eat it like that. And that was that was just some of my favorite stuff to eat. What was the other flavor? In it? It's uh, cucumber and lettuce. Well, it says Ricardo, so I don't know. Yeah, it's, it's good though. I, I like they that. They put one. a little bit of themselves into each beer. <laughs> so yeah, no, I mean, I are can you drink a fan of lager? Drink. See, I'm not. I'm not a fan. Again, I'm not a fan of cucumber. I don't really like the cucumber flavor unless well, it's pickled. Well then, um, yeah. I love pickles. Don't really like cucumber, but that is like I could drink that all That's night. Good. I can That's taste. Really good. I can taste the inspiration. Uh, mm -hmm. Like it's kind of like that cucumber aftertaste. Yeah. yeah, I can. I can taste notes of the cucumber, but it's not yeah. overpowering. By no, any. not yeah. at all. Yeah, I love that. It's pretty okay. smooth to drink. Uh, the next one we have is the uh, Raspberry Goose. Um, I don't really have, you know, well, I guess we'll find out a little bit about and this is one that in one a second. labeled as uh, non-alcoholic? No. It looks like it says it zero, zero IB. On the bottom right? No, 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 no. This is the... No, he's talking right. about on the bottom right of the sticker. Oh, no. Zero IBU. That's... Um, Actually, not National Bitter Units. Yeah. So that I don't, I don't know. know. So no, it's not, this is it's the not strength right here. Oh, okay. Yeah. Five. But it's not better than... So this five. one... Oops. Mm, there goes your microphone. Pen into your beard? <laughs> <laughs> this one no, right no, here. Uh, I don't okay. know if you can see the pore, but this one definitely has kind of a red uh, coloring to it, which, you know, which is going to be part of the raspberry. There you go. Thank you. you I'm good. Yes. Right, I'll just put it on the table. <laughs> Oh, by the way, Rafa Hairball says, Rafa, quit cheering yourself. Yay! <laughs> That's George's. good. You know, we, we should, I guess, implement a policy. If you're going to cheer, if a player is going to cheer a player, it probably shouldn't be themselves. There you go. Yeah, they shouldn't even do me. <laughs> All right, fair enough. I'll stop cheering for, for me. No, cheer for John. Else. No, no, you can cheer for for the bad guys. I'm fine with that. Okay. John, did you get one? Yes, I did. Okay. Mine okay. was the second one for it. So next cheer you do should be for Terminator. All right, this is for the Raspberry Goose. Salud. 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 Ooh, that one's strong, like flavor-wise. Yeah. yeah. Like that one, like the raspberry really, really yeah. hits you. It's kind of like a cider, but... Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, it's almost like a little bit like a cider, mm -hmm. um, well, a little bit like a Mike's. A little bit, yeah. I could definitely you know. taste that. It's yeah, really, I really enjoy that. It's really easy yeah, to, it's really, to drink. It's also really strong on the raspberry flavor, but I mm. like it. Yeah. Yeah, it hits It hits you first. That's that's pretty good. Mm -hmm. I like that one. Yeah, but it's kind of a sour raspberry. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, my cousin loves sours, so oh, we're yeah. probably going to get a lot of sours. Mm -hmm. Okay. And the last one is the Rough Berry Wheat yeah. Ale. Hold on. That's fine. I was just saying... I am like <laughs> you don't like it that one either? I'm a lightweight. Okay. I'm a severe lightweight. This one definitely has a berry oh, like shortness. coloring to it. Wait, is that more of the yeah. raspberry? Want some? Yeah. I'll take a little bit more. Oh, I wasn't saying you had to give me at all, but yeah. I'll take it. Thank you. And sorry, this one is called the what? This is the rough berry wheat ale. Rough berry wheat ale. The last one was a raspberry ghost. Goose. Mm -hmm. Goose. So Goose. Georgians. Had one O on it, so I didn't know if that was pronounced goose. I don't know. 
Yes, absolutely. Hairball says IBU's international bittering yes. units. Yes. Bitterness units. See, that last one was, I, I felt it was like more bitter because it was of the sour. sour. It tasted mm -hmm. a little bit more bitter than the first one, which I didn't really taste much so bitter. Like and this is what kind of a wheat? Uh, like berry almost. wheat ale. Sourness? Almost, almost like a meat. Yeah, almost. Mm -hmm. Sourness just doesn't. Like a sour meat. Sourness doesn't equate to bitterness. No, no, but in my mouth, it just sort of, to me, I'm just letting you know what my brain does. Okay? <laughs> it's fine. Okay. Cheers. Hmm. Mm. No. What kind of berry was this? Rough berry. It just, just says rough berry. Mm. This is no guys. I don't, it's it's rough. I don't think this there's a such thing as a rough berry. No, <laughs> I, I think it's you're enough. drinking it. That's what it's labeled as. Nobody would go on the internet and just tell lies, Kwesi. Lies on the unit? Second drink's Never. a little bit better. All right. First one was a little rough, no pun intended. I mean, out of, out of all three, I think I like the first one the most. Yeah. I like the but second one. Second one's really good, too. I mean, they're all good. Yeah. And and I, I can see myself drinking this, just not at a karaoke night. <laughs> no. Um, yeah, I think I like the first one the best. As as a wheat ale, second, second it doesn't pick. come off bad. overly bitter for me, for yeah. like most ales do. So I enjoy wheat, it. Wheat ale is personally, I, I think I like the bitter, the, ras the raspberry cran. Oh, sorry, it's a raspberry cran goose is what it is. I think that oh, okay. one was my. I, I like that one the best. That I, one I, I definitely I like I, I like the flavor sour. of that one a lot, but Trevor I also I also like enjoy this. Yeah. What kind of uh, it's strawberry and cream cheese? Strawberry pastries. So I'll take that it, I'll was take uh, four eyes ales. Sure. Uh, two, uh, three of our beers or three of their beers right here. Again, highly recommend checking them out uh, if you happen to be in the Ca uh, Bay Area of California. Give them uh, to John so he can show them the label. Uh, this is the only empty one. I did, but. Okay, but we already did this one. <laughs> uh, but yeah, uh, good stuff. I really enjoy it. Um, I'm glad everybody enjoyed most of them. And yeah. You know, uh, come back on Thursday to see what we think about uh, the other one. Mm -hmm. uh, now, we're going to have two of the same, which I believe we're going to have the cucumber one and the, uh, the raspberry, raspberry cran. But we're going to have a, uh, I think it's called a foggy ale, but we'll find out more on Thursday. Okay, right. that sounds great. Cool. Okay, so I now would suggest as a pizza pairing, I would probably, uh, I would suggest probably something with an intensely like meaty flavor, like like a double pepperoni or... Or an all meat for that yeah, last one. Some meat. sausage would taste yeah. really Not good a vegetarian. That. Yeah, no. no. The vegetarian mm. would work good with the first one. Uh, yeah. If I could get up real quick and then we could have maybe some runs to talk. Maybe oh, okay. a Hawaiian for like a, maybe a Hawaiian for the for the raspberry. Yeah. yeah. So four eyes heels. I'd love to thank you for that. But Quasi, a Hawaiian involves much. having pineapple on pizza. Yes. You. I am with that. pro pineapple. Of course, they don't call it a Hawaiian pizza in Hawaii. So far as we know. No. Do they I just call it a pizza? Years. No, no, they no, call no, it a ham and pineapple. Pizza. Yeah, it's, it's a ham and pineapple pizza. And probably just like, not just like the French don't call French fries French fries. No, they call them pommes frites. Yeah. They call them chips, like pretty chips. No, no they frites. don't. That's a British thing. Pretty much. Then again, we are, we have also started not calling them French fries either. It's freedom fries. Freedom what? Fries. That's right. I never heard that before. Never yeah, this is the fries. first I'm oh. hearing of it. I've never gone to a, a restaurant, and I just went to a restaurant you yesterday you have never heard of freedom fries. Freedom no. fries. Yeah, but uh, yeah, something with the intensely salty like. Yeah. Like. Okay. So now that, thank you again, uh, Four Eyes Ales, for sending those to us. And I uh, guess we can get back to round four. I think the first one would pair, pair really well with, like, some nachos. Mm-hmm. Okay. Or carnitas, maybe? A little bit. Round four. Oh, yeah. I can see that. Starting the top of the round off with Amaya. So, I just failed to beat him. Failed to make a dent in him. Mm -hmm. I'm probably going to pull out a knife. Okay. And stab in a different flesh section. Like, can I get a so face? Part of the face. Okay. Um, that's face. That's face. What is your martial arts? You said nine. Ten. Ten. Okay. You need a eight or better. Okay. 
Okay, this time it actually, um, so you're up close, you pull it out. What sort of a, are you just stabbing? Are you slicing? What sort of movement are you trying to do? If it was his neck, I'd probably slice, but if it's his cheek or something, probably stab. Okay, so yeah, you, you actually bury the knife all the way up to the hilt, right here. So how is he stabbing it in? Yeah, it's just, um, oh. I'm going to assume it's, uh, yeah, just front stab in sort oh, of thing. in the mouth, basically. Yeah, it's, it's in the mouth. It doesn't come out the other side. The other side's metal, so. And does he look like he's in pain from that? Uh, well, there is blood. He does, his facial expression does not change at this point. But yeah, you sink it in up to the hill. Next will be... Me to the bottom of this. Blind man. Does he have any weapons? He is a weapon. <laughs> He's a cyborg. Doesn't answer my question. <laughs> He's uh, a Schwarzenegger looking mother. I run for it because <laughs> I asked him if he was sure about this and he responded with, I found you. <laughs> so I don't know what that means. Um... <laughs> But we're gonna we're gonna rush him and uh, I know absolutely nothing about what's going on in this fight. Um, we're going to uh, go ahead and just throw a big old meaty punch. Okay, so one of your attacks is gonna have to be given up to close the rest of the distance. That's fine. Okay, because you can move thirty feet. Yeah, he's fifty feet away, so you run thirty feet. And then you move the rest of the distance with the Yeah, because I don't know where... I, I kind yep. of know where he yeah. is, and he didn't move. And then you throw a, a meaty punch. So, what is your martial artist? Uh, or what is your two hit? Because I know that you've, you've done things. Right. And you've augmented things. So I need to know what your two hit rank is. Uh, so... <coughs> my to hit is going to be... Uh, still the... S the martial artist rank? Yeah, we'll still, we'll still go with the seven. Okay. So you need a 10 or better to hit him. Okay. That's a 13. Okay, one column. And what is your damage rank? 12. That's some nasty damage. Okay, so you, uh, you come right in. What sort of hit are you doing exactly? So since I'm basically just charging straight at him. I was just gonna go all the right way through. Right cross? With a, yeah. With so a cross. right cross at your level, or are you doing a right cross at... I don't know level? where his you, you, height you, you is. You know that he's so. taller based off of the sound of her hitting his chest. So you know he's taller. So if you're going straight forward, that's fine. I just need to I, I'm, pr I'm probably it. going straight forward just because okay. that's so how where tall is your character? get the most power out of. How tall uh, is your five, seven. Five seven versus seven eight versus eight foot. You said seven so seven nine. Here. So yeah, about solar plexus area. <clears throat> okay, um, you actually hit him. You feel metal as you're punching. Okay, you, know, you do the whole punch through thing. You feel metal as it as your hand sinks into the metal and it deforms the metal. Okay, and you do pull I your hand back out? You know you left a. Dent. Do I know something? where in him I left a dent? <laughs> <coughs> so with your hyper touch, you do get a, a view yeah. of sorts um, that mixed with your with your enhanced hearing that allows you to sort of get a picture that you're hitting him in the solar plexus. Okay. Um, he doesn't move much. There's no noise. There's no. I mean, no like he doesn't go uh or anything like that. No so, gas. So you hit him. Fit. No gas air. Or, or air or anything. But you do sink your hand in to where it's, uh, the metal is like almost at your wrist. That's about how far you penetrate <laughs> and you pull right. your hand back out. So way past the point is. Yep. <laughs> Hi. And it is. My turn. Your turn. Well, I, like, I guess I'm healing this, 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 this unwilling Missile weapon. <laughs> I'm willing for a out weapon. Uh, that'd be a seven. 
and my rank is nine. Okay. Um, so you, you heal him. The the whimpering, the the yelping stops, and he's like, oh, "Who are you?" That was for Jesus. <laughs> Do I know Jesus? No, you don't. This is Justin. This oh. is a good time to learn. <laughs> I have something for you in my pack. You we'll didn't meet me. You didn't meet me where you're supposed to meet me. The man's got changed. Right. It took a bit to track you down. It's the packs in the alley. I wasn't sure you were with weird people. Sorry. No. He's with me. <coughs> He's good. Okay. Um, that thing shot me. Watch out. It hurts. What do you he rubs his chest. I don't know. My back was to the alley. He grabbed me, spun me around, and I just felt a big burn in my chest. And I then felt something hit my back. And then I was on the ground. And then now I'm here. Rest, my friend. No, I feel great. <laughs> he sort of rocked Rest, forward. my friend. I'm not letting you fight alone. Listen, cats aren't better than us. We'll see about that. <laughs> um. <laughs> Funny, his initials are JC. Anyway. <laughs> Ow. Yes. Out the nose. Jesus Christ. No. James Casper. <laughs> Juan Carlos. Look at Jesus all of this. This is great. Okay. So, that was Barnabas. Dustin. John Carter. Dustin, your turn. Uh, seeing his friends is all right. Out comes his bow and arrow. Locks and fires. So you move, so you have a good shot, and then you lock and fire. Got it. Okay, what is your weapons master rank? Uh, 11. Nice. Okay, you need a 7 or better to hit the guy, because he does not notice you firing. That's a problem. And standard longbow, right? Yep. Standard longbow, full eighty pound draw. Probably should have had that pulled up. Do you have the strength to do an eighty pound draw? Yes. Strength of eight. Well, probably then. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's that's enough strength to do an eighty pound draw, right? Too bad it's not my strength, though. What's your strength? Ten. Aww. Then again, I'm not trying to draw any of those. Just all the people. Sorry, I'm just looking up the rank. Hey, Trevor, can I see your book? Because finding it in here is not the fastest. What are you looking for? Longbow. I just need your book. That's all I need. Oh, God damn it, John. Oh, that's so much it. work. Just the whole book. Yeah. I have about the same, I think. Almost. Uh, regular longbow, it, yep. compound right. longbow, uh, AR regular. of eight. Regular longbow. Elven. Regular longbow. Right. So we have compound. Have we have elven sheet. or strength bow. Hold on. Hell four AR. Yeah, yeah. Let, let me just hand me your sheet. It'll be faster. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I didn't realize if I had it on your sheet or not. There isn't one labeled regular longbow. There are two different kinds of listed. So I think mine's the updated version? One is compound. Okay, hand that over. Okay, and I need you two to roll perception. Actually, anyone looking at the guy can roll a perception roll. Are you looking at the guy, Bill? I'm scared shitless, so no. Okay. Or peeless Twelve. Now. <laughs> <laughs> Twelve. All shitless. Yep. Should I re-roll that one? That one might be a little uh, tough. No, it's up so to you. Twelve. For 11. 11? 12? What? Four. Four. Yeah, you, you, you don't notice. <laughs> You're like looking at your knife in the guy's mouth and going, and it's astounding. why is he not yelling or doing anything? No, you're a good assassin. He's not yelling. You uh, can go ahead and kill that again if you want. Um, but the good thing is I was he's healing, not yelling. So you were healing 
What did you roll for perception? Oh. Right, never mind. You don't need to roll. You're watching what you're doing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you fire your arrow. It, it goes stealthy that way. Where were you aiming? His head. Any particular place? How do you want to do this? He was aiming at the uh, exposed eye, the glass one. Okay. So you don't notice. <laughs> you hear the sound of an arrow flying through the air, and Quack. the dull, meaty noise of it as it hits its target. Now, it's not coming over your shoulder, it's at a different angle. You, looking over, you see the guy just, his head rocks back, and there's an arrow sticking out of his eye, and he just, like, slow motion falls backwards. (laughs) Into the streaming computer. Into the streaming computer. (laughs) Just, thud! Did he at least make a noise that time? Like, ah! Nope. No. His head just rocked back, and he falls backwards. And the second time, the, second, the arrow is out, and the one's coming out, walk ready to go. Okay. You're holding your knife. As he falls backwards, your knife slips out, and you see uh, the, the glowing eye fades as the whole thing just rocks backward and hits the ground. And then you hear the sound of police sirens. I did it! <laughs> Took him out in one punch. <laughs> <laughs> Deal with it. Do <laughs> any of us hear the sound of Yes. Yeah, so you, Christine, you'd hear them as well. Um, they're not that far away. In fact, you, they're going to be here probably in a couple seconds. You'd hear the police sirens as well. I hear the sirens. I help my friend up, and we. So how far am I away, away from the truck? Um, you literally, you just pulled them out. You turned around. You see the guy fall. You hear the sirens. You're standing at your truck. <laughs> All right, I'm just gonna go. Jonah, put the dun, dun, dun. put the shotgun away. <laughs> <laughs> you know how you know how that bothers the boys in blue. How far away am I from the truck? Um, you are a good like. Let's see here. Three rounds of running. Four. Yeah, three rounds of running. That's a. Uh, you're by the police. 30 feet. <laughs> no, no, you just go in the opposite direction. So 30, 90 feet. Do I, did I hear the, the thud? You are running from um, the police. <laughs> you, hear, you hear the police. Uh, roll a perception. Let's see if you heard the thud. Uh, 18. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You actually heard the thud. You, you swear the ground shook a little bit, even though it probably didn't. But, I mean, okay. like you heard the thud, you looked back, and he's on the ground. So you know it must have shaken in your head. <laughs> Do I see, and what are the actions that I see them take? Okay, so you see Jack. I declare myself the victor. Holding his hand up. I did it! One punch! You see an arrow <laughs> sticking out of the guy's head. You see blood oozing out of his cheek. You see, I'm assuming um, Amaya is putting her wings away. Um, so her, and nonchalance. Yeah, her wings are, are vanishing. A, you don't even see anyone with a knife. You don't know how the blood the side of his face. And you see her sort of just sort of walking over. Back toward you know, just like she belongs here and everything's fine. And uh, you see Jonah at the. I don't know why I'm having a problem with Jonah. I know. I look at you. It's like Ryan. I mean, mean, he said Jonas. He called me Jason earlier. (laughs) (laughs) Joshua. Joshua. That's what it was. Yeah. So you know, I um, call you you him. He's like putting a shotgun away. (laughs) Does he see me at all? No. Uh, So I hesitantly walk back. Are you even wrote notes? <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, I'm writing yeah. nicknames for almost everyone. We've got Angry Raccoon, <laughs> Bill, Preacher Man, Sandbag, and Giggles. So I've got Shadow. Uh, what was yours? Yours was oh, uh, Prosthetic Catman. <laughs> and then yeah, I'm I'm gonna have to come up with like maybe just sending bills for Bill Sender. Nothing too creative, mm-hmm. but yeah. <laughs> okay. Amusing. So the tax Preacher Man. Man. So the police get there as you guys are. Doing what you're doing. Mm-hmm. I'm, uh, you hear the sirens. I mean, I don't know what else is going you're on. Here, freeze! So. I'm doing it. I'm gonna put your s- weapons down. I'm gonna. S- I'm gonna do like a <laughs> binaka squirt. <laughs> I I, from behind the I just go on the ground and just do this. But I don't. I don't <laughs> have any weapons. <laughs> you know, at this point, uh, I think uh, the police need to calm a little bit down. I'm, I guess oh. I'm going to 
put my hands on the ground. <laughs> put your weapons down. That's ten. <laughs> okay. Um, you hear from you know the police. Those of you seeing them, actually, they have their guns out. They, the car stopped quickly. The doors open. They're standing at their doors. You know, they're all a little edgy. And then one of them goes, "Come on, guys, it's all right. Just, just calm down." And they're all like, "Oh yeah, yeah you're right." I'm right guns in front away of the and corpse. They close, them. They, they close them, and one of the people walks forward. He's wearing slacks, a button-up shirt. Uh, there's some blood stains on it. It's black slacks. He's got a a badge literally hanging on a chain on his neck, short black hair, blue eyes, about five, eight, five, nine ish, somewhere in that range. Detective? Was sort he sort of walks up. Was he at the crime scene? Not that you saw before, no. So, uh, man, it's just not my night. I know what you're saying, brother. Puts now, a toothpick in his mouth. And it's, it's not my night either. So me and some friends were, were were having some drinks in my bus. When yeah, what happened? I, your old I bus punched a guy. Sideways, but did you do this to the bus? No. no. See this? This is this robot looking thing. Oh I, yeah. First Wait, I it's land, a robot? First I land a, a multiple homicide. Now I land a disturbing the peace fight against. So he kicks it. The I, Terminator. I, I, I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm sure that. Could I that, roll to not cry? You can roll to not cry. The arrow Ten or better. The arrow sticking out of his eye Eight. is dark green and red. Eight? Yeah, no, you're you're balling. I'm balling. Okay. <laughs> I don't care. Uh, it's a yeah. ranger thing. Mm. I'm so, gonna... anyhow. Okay, okay. Well, look, we're gonna need. I need all of you guys to just give me a statement, just real quick. Uh, all of you people that were involved, obviously, semi truck driver, you're involved. I got a description. For, which one of you? And he pulls out a little pad. Which one of you is Barnabas? That would be me. Okay. And Jonah? Ah, uh, here. Okay. And... Did I do something wrong? No, you didn't. I hope not. Bill? <laughs> <laughs> Where is Bill? I haven't seen him in a while. Wait, you here? should listen in the sound of the wind for it. Okay, well, so oh, I, I need to talk to you guys about the last thing, you know, just an hour ago. Go and we'll be happy to talk. Um, do you do, do mind lending a hand uh, right in uh, this bus? Who are you? She's a bystander. Who is he talking to? You, me. Oh, what? he can't see. Uh, yeah, he supposedly, <laughs> supposedly, he's blind. Yeah. I beat the Terminator, apparently. He's he uh, he's he a tells us, he he's tells the us carnival. He's, got he's the kind of a blind fan. No, I punched him in the chest and it collapsed. Okay, I see that, but it looks like an arrow may have done him in. I don't know anything about that. <laughs> okay, so who shot the arrow? I do not know. It came out of, came, came out of no, actually. I'm gonna, I'm gonna look back in my cabin real oh, quick. Oh, I'm told, it, I'm told like, that there's an angel. Wasn't me, I don't think. <laughs> of course, there's a preacher. There's always an angel. Right. Okay. So. Uh, okay, some detective clay. So maybe the angel shot the arrow. Carter Clay. Um, yeah. Guys, can you try to help right? I grab his face. Boss. What's he look like? Person. <laughs> Pretty average. Average features, you know. He's, He's got like, eyes yeah, and a mouth, yeah. nose. And a toothpick sticking out of his mouth. Oh, okay, I'll leave you with that. Uh, <laughs> Wait, do you flick it? You right, it? right, right. Detective. Okay, yeah, thank you for seeing me. Um, I'm here. It's important for me to know who No, I'm no, I get it, to. I get it. I just don't, I'm not used to people touching my face as a way of saying hello. I, I, I could do it. a lot more to say hello. Where I come from, there's also a kiss on each cheek. That's nice. No. We just, just, yeah, okay, we're good. Um, yeah, so, this thing just came in attack for no reason. That is correct, sir. Uh, yeah, we were, we yeah, having, yeah, yeah. We came, were having drinks out of nowhere. in the bus. I have not been all drinking. Of sudden, all of a sudden, uh, uh, something hurdles through. I point at the hole. Through the bus and out the other side. And tips the bus over. 
we uh, we come to rest on the trailer, and we come out. Uh, this fine gentleman, uh, he's a carnival fighter, blind. Uh, he attacks the. You got the blind part, yeah. He attacks the uh, uh, robot man and uh, punches him, and then out of nowhere, an arrow shoots him in the eye. How about the cut in the cheek? Ah. Uh, I wasn't watching for for for. A oh, bit. I've I've accidentally cut people in the cheek before when I'm hunt, when I'm fighting. It happens. I don't know. It's possible. I could have done it. Around the backside. Yeah, I figured. Okay. Um. Right. So. It's quite common for so I, cuts in boxing. I do have a quick question though. I mean, all this is good and all, but who's paying for Gator? Well, uh, Jonah, we got insurance. Where's the Gator? Still, I'll wrestle it. Someone's got to pay for that. But we will need a, a police report for the insurance company. Oh, don't worry. One of my officers will write one up. Oh, Excellent. unless you're talking about Doesn't Barney. Doesn't look like you need a detective Barney. here. Uh, except maybe if that thing is dead. Well, yeah, you might want to. Barry. He, like, he, he squats down and like feels its neck. That's metal. And grabs its hand metal. You might want to call the FBI or whoever yeah, investigates yeah. Uh, Hey, uh, Joey, get on the horn. Call the M.E. Oh, actually, I um, know it's just right down the street, but I don't want you to walk. Just call and tell them we got another thing to, for them to look at. Um. Oh God. Um. Aliens. Who, oh, who deals with that department? Oh, you're one of those. No, no, no. This guy is. No, no, no. I didn't believe it either. But uh, how do you not believe it after this thing here? Uh, uh, I'm pretty sure that's just cosplay again, too. Just saying. No, there's like, there's like, no, there's my, cat that people. Was actual there's metal. like people that are part cats and maybe part squid too. I don't know. I don't know these people. Part squid. <laughs> Officer, our, our friend is I, quite I shaken. Can, I can tell. He's, I think he's, uh, he might need to be cleaned up. Why don't you take care of him and hey, guys, try to help write this butt. They're like, how are we going to set that up? Yeah, we'll get on it. Okay. It's going to take us a little while to. Straight your Much up. If you push from the side that's tilted, it'll probably resettle. Right, why don't you show us? I don't even know where the bus is right now. We can that guide being you there. said, that's not a problem. Aliens. Hey Joey, why don't you guide this guy? Up? Yeah, yeah, yeah a aliens. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll we'll look into that. We're, We're looking, looking at the H. G. Wells animal. type, not the Isaac Asimov. There's a difference in aliens. Oh my god. <laughs> Right, right, right. Ten foot hot. We'll, my, we'll, my, we'll, we'll get it going. My fans uh, are discombobulated. They, they. I think they need. Look at my eyes. My finish, eyes are uh, not dilated. The, the, the bottle of whiskey that we had open. You are blind. Wow. Wait, you're blind. And your teeth are messed up too. Yeah. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I, hope you, I hope you don't. I, you already know. I'm that. a carny. Right. Right. And right. a boxer. Right? Nope. My nose has been broken 12 times. Oh, I didn't even notice that. Yeah. Not, did I break it I, once? I didn't mention it. <laughs> did I break it once or twice? No, you missed. <laughs> Are you sure? Yes. thought that might have. <laughs> well, I think I know where to find you all. Carnival, down the street. Revival, your butt. Yeah, okay. I'm sober, I'm fine. Mr. This guy Sander. didn't even hit me. Are you from Atlanta? I am. Well, I mean, not from, from, but I'm, I live here now. Let's um, go back into so the We're going to need to get your contact information just in case we have follow up questions yeah, conspiracy in the morning when I decide to actually do something about this. I'll, I'll tell you what, when you find the angel alien. I'll tell you what angel I. Angel alien. But no, the angel is the one who follows the pre. You're getting the story wrong and everything. You don't even know what you're talking about. I'll tell you what I can do. I'll give you the card from my trucking business. Uh, I've already got your contact information. You, and, you and Barnabas. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The, what, the uh, police officer at the crime from, scene. Uh, from the apartment. Uh, the street. But still, that way you can also send me the insurance information, but you can also contact them if you need to. Because we're all planning on just sticking together for a good while. I think. Oh, okay. That makes it a lot easier. Yeah. Um, I don't want to be away from the cat person and the angel. So where's the angel? Carry out there. Who flew is away. the angel? Oh, it flew away. Okay. Okay. Wait, so since when do we have an angel? I thought there was a prosthetic cat man and a shadow. It's an angel alien. Keep up. I brushed the trailer. <laughs> oh, they don't pay me enough for this. Okay. <laughs> um, I pushed so the tour bus. <laughs> What's your strength? Uh, seven, I think. Or five. It's a five normally. Five. 
Yeah. Make a roll. It collapses on top of you, and that's the end Eight. of Jack. <laughs> it's heavier than it looks. It's a tub. <laughs> I don't know how big it is. <laughs> yeah. That's why I said it's everything. Do you tell us that you're doing this, or are you just doing it by yourself? No, the police are helping the poli- me. The poli- yeah, they're like, okay, oh, okay, let's try it again. There's like five of them all there. One, two, push! Ten. Jonah, okay, could you help this time me it, it writes its... It, oh. It pops up. I was going to. And then it comes back. <laughs> how far the triples are on it? Yeah, it, it doesn't go the other way. They, they. So it, it rocks. Yeah, it, it rocks, and then it. It looks like okay. How are the tires? Well, you know, they're okay. So I wasn't. Yeah. So I wasn't entirely Don't aware that they were doing this, so. but I'm gonna turn around after hearing that, and just gonna be, gonna be like, "You're making Gator worse." Is the, you know, as the bus peels off a little mm-hmm. bit of the. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so that's done. I do you mind if I look inside your bus? I just have to you know get pictures. By all means. Okay. He yeah, goes in sure and pulls out his cell phone. Metal. There's yeah. gonna, <laughs> if you find some coins in there, just give them to me because I. Oh, I'm not them. taking anything. Oh. I'm just taking pictures. Okay. Let me know if you find a cask. Okay. Is that like a coffin? No, it's like a money box. What? You brought your money here? Oh, okay. And well, yes. Box? Some idiot decided to put Guinness in it. Oh. Found it. <laughs> it's under the dri- You weren't driving, were you, blind man? No, I was thrown into the driver's seat, oh, I okay. guess. It's under the driver's seat, so you know where to find it. But he's blind. How's the Guinness? <laughs> I and don't know. Blind. <laughs> <laughs> All that he comes out. Thank you. Cake, You're very welcome. Pony. Little pony. Okay, a baby cake. Yeah. yeah. I'll uh, get in contact with you guys in the morning. I recommend you guys... Leave that off. Mm-hmm. Um, take it easy for the rest of the evening. Evidently, this is a dangerous area. I'm going to leave a couple officers patrolling the uh, the area tonight. I don't think we get the sure chance to take the night off. we got to do some sermoning. Tell right? them the cats are good. The cats are good people. The cats are good people. Okay, I'll tell them that. Sermon, sermons wait for no people. Cat people so, or otherwise. John, were we doing sermons not no, tomorrow? No, it's going to be tomorrow. Tomorrow okay. is your initial. Okay. July 1st was your first you know, build up to the 4th of July okay. sermon. That's why you guys went to the carnival tonight. I'm going to, to, I'm going to call up the insurance. Okay. Angst and mange? You're not Are gonna... you around? Giggles? The police leave. How good is his hearing? There's, there's some, some people. You, I don't know. How, how good is your hearing? I mean, his hearing. You don't know. He's blind. I, I hear him call angst. I growl a little bit. Roll perception, Trevor. So, Bill, let me, let me set you straight. Yeah, he didn't hear shit. When you start talking crazy, uh, the police don't believe you. But it's not crazy. It's true. I saw all of it. Yeah. Uh, Twins uh, talking it's, crazy. It's it's crazy. I don't know what you're talking yes, about. Yes. You Unless they growl. see it themselves, when you describe it, you're crazy. I saw a cosplayer Terminator man, a weird prosthetic cat dude, and... Besides, Some lady that made her own wings. If they believe you, <laughs> it makes trouble for you. So I don't know what. Are, are, are you are, are you mentally deficient? I mean, you, are you a savant? Are you an accountant and just dumb and everything else? I don't know how to respond to that. <laughs> <laughs> so maybe. Maybe. <laughs> you should you should travel with us. We'll fix your ride as right. I, I honestly don't feel safe anywhere else right now. <laughs> I'll tell you what. Okay. You can ride I'm, with me in the, in the so truck whenever we go out. I know we're not going out soon, but if we do go out, you'll ride with me the, the truck. The ME crew, keep you the you keep me crew would have shown up okay. while we were riding it, and the, the body would have been taken Short away already. Cuts. So I know where he is. That's why I said right here. <laughs> where is he? But now um, we got to talk about some yeah. other things, too. Um, in I the know, alleyway. I pissed myself. i got to change my pants. No, no, no. Not so that. across the oh. street from where you're is where you'd hear the uh, growl the from. Yeah. That's another reason why I wonder if you're mental deficient. I was. You, uh. Have you ever been that frightened before? Frankly, no. Well, I was scared peeless today. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> you pissed yourself? Mm hmm. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, I know. It's that's that's why I asked uh, about deficiencies. 
Yeah. If yeah. Giggles yeah. with you. you hear all of this. And I have my cat, or cryad, yep. on my shoulders. It's a black cat. Okay. And I stand close enough to Jack for the cat to hop onto his shoulder. Hmm. High or low? Hi. So I got a nickname for you, for Bill Sender. It like looks over at it. Piss Sender. <laughs> it stays where it is. So the description of a cryad. Holy Sifa, thank you, Hairball. <laughs> Nice. Hashtag holy secret. Yes. What you do? I don't have Kevin. Is Giggles it's with oh, you? Um. Unless I mean, you would you would hear a weird cat noise from beside you. A description of um the cat that's on your character's shoulders. Did I give that to you already? Did I tell you what they I look like? I have absolutely no clue what they okay. look like, and I read that part in the book. Okay, perfect. Is it a ten yes. ten tentacle kitty bag? No. Chance. So it's, it's, uh, it's a little bit bigger. It's a little bit bigger than a house cat, um, like okay. about small ocelot size. But it's, it's about four or five pounds. pounds. But it's got the. Um, uh, an ocelot is quite a bit bigger than that. Yeah, it's like twenty-ish pounds. Um, but it's got the it's got the patterning of a serval. A what? Serval. Okay. Do you know what a serval is? I don't. Are you going to show me a picture by turning around your massive laptop over there? Make sure it's off of photo stock. <laughs> excuse me. There is none. There is no Spell excuses? That? I'm guessing. S-E-R-V-A-L. I'm trying to find it. So I got nicknames why are you, for everyone. Yeah, why are you on YouTube? Preacher man. Uh, prosthetic cat guy. He was watching dog videos, remember? Remember? Yeah, I'm watching some videos. That'd be good. Blind boy. There, yeah, yeah, that would work. So about like that kind of patterning. Okay. Yeah. I mean, that's like an ocelot. That's, though, yeah, it? it's also just like an ocelot. Yeah. Um, not quite. Ocelot's spots are a little bit different. The fur is uh, whiter, not as tawny. So it's got tawny... But the size is ocelots are smaller than servals. Ocelots are proud animals. Um, servals, like on their hind legs, can stand this tall. <laughs> if they're on their hind legs, ocelots are only about that tall. So you know, there's a lot okay, of I build about difference. Um, and then it's got a, a slight, almost like a mohawk, sort of like a hyena look mo looking mohawk. Was this the evil she's cat from Voltron? Nope. That's what a cryad looks like. <sighs> okay, so I hear that. Yes. Except hers, un unlike the tawny spots, hers is black with with oh, uh, gold with, spots. With black. No, no, black with gold spots. Right. And then he can kind Just of change his coloring, either more gold or more black, depending on whether he's bright <laughs> or shadow. Yep. So that's a, that's a description of it for the group and for the viewers. Right. So I hear a... Beside you. <laughs> Giggles, are you also a cat now? No, but I have a cryad. You have a what? It's basically a cat. And okay. Probably object. But one of the most recent uh, Marvel movies, it's not a cat. <laughs> It's now, not a cat. <laughs> I know you described it, but I'm guessing we do see it then, too. Yeah, right? yeah, okay. it's, it's on her shoulders. So now, on, did it just appear, or is it just more like it? No, when she came walking up, it was on her shoulders. You just didn't see her walk up. Oh, okay. Mange, <laughs> you can guys you get over here? I don't want there. to yell. Mange? Well, well, he doesn't like being called over against the raccoon. We've got a so. coming tomorrow. Oh, you mean prosthetic cat man? Prosthetic cat man, we need you. Mange is a bit more of an Rally asshole. <laughs> I think he's an actual cat, guys. I actually think he's an actual cat. Wait, he's a cat? I still don't know what you mean by that. He's a prosthetic cat man. And at that point, your, you find bag? your buddy, yeah, he finds a bag and he goes, you better get over there. Here, tell you what. Let's go. And he goes walking over, puts the bag on his shoulder, hands, hey, you, hands you an item. Is this what I think it is? Yeah. <laughs> and the boat pops out. You're welcome. You owe me. As they come walking up, you'd see the two people in hoodies 
one of them with a big hole in the hoodie and fur sticking out. As he comes walking up, he goes, yes, he's a cat. He's a kitty cat. With a meow, 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 and a purr, 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 and he pushes you. <laughs> <All> right, <huh? laughs> Remember what happened when you fell in the lake? Wait, so you got fur, too? I had to save you. Yeah. So you're another one of the prosthetic cat man? No. What are you, then? I am a chlamydia. A what? But you can you're, just you're call chlamydia? me you're chlamydia? You're chlamydia? A what? Chlamydia? You call me a lupinoid. He pulls his hood back and you see a wolf, a wolf-like face, or a dog-like face. Is this some some Shh. sort of I weird... I scratch him under the chin with my claws out. Is this some sort of weird uh, cosplay convention where people are just furries now? You're a, so, you're a prosthetic I cat mean, man and prosthetic dog man? What the heck? Well, what's your name? This has been enthralling. James. Good old James. James Casperin, thank you for healing. Appreciate it. So, you. are you the one going to be paying for my truck over here? No, we got insurance. Like I said, we I just insurance. called him in. We got Our insurance, but someone's I still got to pay for my truck. I'm just saying. The insurance company. Somebody's still got to pay for my truck. Just saying. What's my insurance company again? Okay. <laughs> What's my insurance company ever again? You know what? I don't... Really Out of character, I don't. Um, <laughs> I don't feel comfortable actually naming a real life insurance company. That's fine. So, so create a fake one. Acme. I, I forget. What I think is, you know, Acme Insurance. Is a good Acme name. Insurance. <laughs> no, that actually is a real thing. Is it? Yes, yeah. it is. It's okay. Well, comprehensive it. auto. Yeah, comprehensive auto. Okay. Mm -hmm. Comprehensive <laughs> auto. All insurance services, motorcycles, on. All inclusive auto. <laughs> I'm sorry, you got it semi? We don't cover that. Wait, wait a minute! I thought that was all. Oh. Um, it was all inclusive. So, I understand things are maybe a little tense right now between whether or not you're a cat or a. I step up, take his hand, and put it on my face. So, you, you feel that he's a prosthetic cat man, right? Dustin, right? Yes. <laughs> So, Dustin, um, Amaya, it's a lovely name, um, and your friend I, who I don't know anything about. Hey, That's you fine, you don't need to he smack your hand. He's, he's a pro <laughs> just know he's a prosthetic also a dog raccoon. man. Got it. No. He's, a, he's a prosthetic I'm not dog man. Around. I just came here to drop off something with Dustin because he didn't meet me before he left California. Where would you drop off? He's got it. Don't worry about it. Well, I was going to say, if you need a place where eyes aren't going to judge you, you can come back to the carnival with me. Wait, you're blind? Seriously, <laughs> <laughs> you have short-term memory loss? I'm forgetful. <laughs> <laughs> and you question me, Barnabas? <laughs> How many fingers are you holding up? James, you used to have yes. the uh, multi arrows. The what? <laughs> the, the, uh, I believe that. Arrows. You want some target arrows? If you don't mind. Puts his hand into one of his cargo pockets and pulls out a case like this big. Here's six. That's all I got. And I'm going, I've got things to do, places to be, people to see. Wait. Same. Wait, prosthetic dog man, we can't talk to you a little more? Ignore I'm curious. Him. What do you want to know? Uh, why are you guys dressed up as furs? I need to get back to California. I just asked you. Oh, a James, if you feel so inclined, here's a business card with a uh, e given uh, website. I've got a lot of sure. J names today. Yeah, J Jonah Jameson. <laughs> we've, got, <laughs> we've got James. We've got Jimmy. We've got Jonah. Jack. We've got Jack. Yeah. So I need to to head to my mission in California to check in on missing people. What's going on? Well, they're missing, obviously. The usual. Now, are they're they missing. Are they I'm missing, be are they missing because you made them go My missing? My kind, not your kind. Do you want me to help find them? It's all right. I've got a good nose. Same. Nah. Let's get a dog. <laughs> Actually, I, I, do have, I do have a real question for you, Anybody? prosthetic dog man. James. Do you do you believe in the... the do, do, do your... Uh, your uh, 
whatever, whatever you call it. You're, mm-hmm. you're, check with him to see if he believes in Jesus, Jesus Christ. Well, you were healed by the power of Jesus, obviously. Yeah, I don't Works. think I know him. Wait, well, you don't know Jesus Christ? And with that, I'm leaving for the carnival. Don't mind <laughs> <laughs> I'll hand him a Bible. <laughs> Thank you. I will. You better read it. Read it. When I no, you chance. bet. You better read it. Wouldn't, wouldn't him being an alien like Thank dispel you. most of this book? And another fact. Just I'm not an alien. Do you ever want to take advantage of the human abilities of? Uh, because of I my... totally believe everything in here. This is fantastic. I, I Give it a read. I still don't know why you keep talking about aliens. There's no such thing as aliens. No such thing as <laughs> cat people or dog people. <laughs> I'm going to run headlong into him. Right Just into his chest. Run. Probably not going to do Full anything, tilt. but can't resist. And okay. then my cat's going to go flying. As I'm <laughs> inviting you guys to come <laughs> with me to the carnival it'll, it'll, to sleep. You'll land on his Running legs. Into, into, <laughs> into Jonah. Uh, no, into, well, <laughs> definitely into me. What? Twelve. Okay, yeah. So you you run right in. Are you and, are you sneaky as, about it though, or are you just doing it? As predicted, <laughs> your cat does fly, but it sort of like half jumps. It's like I'm going. I know where this is going. And it <laughs> pops off your shoulder, right into his chest area. Mm-hmm. You're like middle of talking, and boom, she runs into you. By the way, James, we told and you. all of your energy just stops when you hit. Like, By the way, James, almost like hitting a sandbag. I'll let him know. All right, so... Hopefully he's still there. Knowing him, he is, because you guys like to lay around in the sun a lot. But I've got to go find missing people. All right, Lone well, Wolf isn't it's, find himself. Uh, it's, it's, it's really? nice to, to meet you, James. Drew the straw. It's nice to meet you, James. Yo, yeah, well, it's fun. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Thank you, I do. If you guys are ever in Los Angeles, California area, that's where I'm heading because that's where I need to find the missing people. Wait, James, I have a question. Well, if you know where they are, are they really missing? No, that's where they were. Last. Oh, him, yes. I have a question, James. Yeah. Who's a good boy? Who's a good boy? Who's a good boy? I scratch my Who's a good boy? Oh, I don't like your friends. <laughs> he turns and walks off. <laughs> Pulling his hood. Pulling his hood up. But wait, prosthetic valve man, we need still need to ask you a couple questions. Wait. That was a nice detective. <laughs> <laughs> it was a nice detective, wasn't it? I think I just got rid of all my bits. I should have been away from that. <laughs> oh, priceless. Priceless. So, why did you go headlong into me? Exactly. Shut up. You just keep saying you don't believe in aliens. So that means you go running straight into me with your head? I might be developing anger issues. No. You know what's really good for anger yes, issues? Drinking. Painting. Ah, oh, drinking as well. <laughs> I enjoy yes, drinking a lot. Ah, oh, yes, I love to paint. You I- can come to my uh, tent if you want to see some of them. Well... Jonah. Yes. Also, because then people will stop Just questioning remember, you so much. She's a lady, and she believes in aliens, so don't be rude to her. I mean, I'm just saying, she's the one slamming Jonah. her face into my body. It's not. Jonah. It's not me Just trying stop. to. Trying to. Just call me Justin. <laughs> call me Prosthetic Catman. I got. I got next names for everyone: Shadow, Prosthetic Catman, Piss Sender, Preacher Man. Wait, you're guy. blind. <laughs> <laughs> Just call me by my name. What was your name again? Justin. Ah, okay. What was your last name again? Rhodes. No, I got his last name before, but... <laughs> <laughs> he's, not, he's not on a road right uh, now, I'm just saying. Time. Dustin Time. <laughs> <laughs> uh. I'm actually gone. I'm, I'm walking back towards the carnival. Does anybody here have a good scent? Good, good strong scent? A scent? I probably do now that I piss myself. <laughs> yeah. He scent. smells strong. <laughs> he might want to make a perception spell. I also smell strong. Yeah, no. No? No, he's far enough away. It's fine. You know what I'm eating, right? Yep. Well, hey, 
I guess we'll adjourn to the bus and uh, Is there, do you have an cover extra, up the holes. Huh? An extra room or an extra bed or something. Cover up the holes with what? I mean, some plastic. Plastic? Plastic. Plastic? What plastic? plastic? Yes. I'm seeing the plastic. I'm already on it. Oh, thank you. I, I say, but then I run off and do it because I'm partially responsible for some of it. Oh, Maya, I'll help mm-hmm. you with that. Do you actually okay. say that your parts so are you go back to the uh, yeah. carnival? Yeah, as far as I know, at some point go they're going to gonna meet up. Yep, yep, you do say you're good. Sidelong. So you guys like that you're walking the quick, opposite way um, of the carnival? <laughs> <laughs> no, I know where the carnival is. It's the one with all the noise. Forever. You guys make some, some quick repairs to the bus, and you guys hunker down for the evening. Mm-hmm. I have to go to make sure you make some carnival too. Okay, so you follow. Okay. It only takes a couple minutes and yeah. Yep. Okay. And uh, I want to find wow, that um, was fun. Susan. <laughs> okay. So you find Susan. Yep. I got my hood back on. Yes, sir. Where'd you run off to? Oh, um, I well, I went to get a drink, and they turned my keg of money into a Guinness, leaving the money in there. So you get to have your money and drink it too. Yes. Jeff. I guess so. I fought the Terminator. Oh wow! Here? No. You did, did you take pictures? For us to see, not for you to see. <laughs> Does she see me standing? Up? I could. I could maybe paint some for you. Oh, that'd be great! I'd love to see that. Um, but I also met. Um, there was a guy like you. Really? Yeah. <clears throat> And, um... He's right behind you. You're gonna follow him into her tent? Okay. Um, so, yeah, there I was think he's behind you. Wow, that's some really good surgery. No surgery. Uh-huh, sure. I kept calling him an angsty raccoon because I didn't know any better. I understand. Um, apparently he's he's got, like, the, the ears and everything. No, it, it looks amazing. I, I would love to get it, get his doctor, because you know I need a few touch-ups myself. Um. Also, aliens might exist. Wait, Wait what? You mean Jamie's right? Always prattling on about you have to wear hats lined with tin foils. No, so no, no, not necessarily that kind. Um. Oh. But uh, the Terminator was real. Oh. I thought you were talking about some guy dressed up as a Terminator wanting to fight. You know we get kooks here. No, I punched him at my head level, and it was his solar plexus. Oh, so a basketball player dressed as a Terminator. No. It built like a brick shit house. Wow. It was a cyborg. Well, a steel shit house. That's supposed to break. Yeah. Um... Uh, apparently a detective came and they reeled off the body. Um, but he threw a guy through a van That's from across impressive. the street. Whoa. And are you okay? She, like, check. She's, she's fine. fine. Oh, yeah, yeah, No concussion. See? Okay, yeah. Your eyes, your eyes are fine. Um. I mean, as fine as they are. Right. Still that nice shade of white. It's a lovely color, I'm told. Um. But, yeah. Uh, she... There was a couple cats. I'm not entirely sure who's all of whom. Um, so, but that's one of them? Yes. Yes. Okay. Uh, I, I told them they could probably come back to the carnival if they wanted. Oh, we, we always have room. I got room in my tent, too. So if they need beds, I got a couple cots. You can set yours up right over there. I usually sleep on the ground. I'll find a tree. Um, it is Atlanta. But, uh, Might have to share it with a couple other strays. I might not be staying here too long. You're leaving? Well, we'll see. What's going on? One of the others um, who, who stopped by my tent earlier for one of the fights, um, she kind of propositioned me with a job. To fight? 
Oh, oh. 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 <laughs> <laughs> I would say the mid shoot. Okay. Wow. Um, well, I mean, you are a good fighter. So if there's anyone that, that someone would want to hire as a fighter, I, I would think it would be you. And apparently there's more of these Terminator type people or something, I'm assuming. Then you be careful. We're talking like H.G. Wells here, not Isaac Asimov. Oh, okay. Okay, that's good. So, no, so it's, it's bad. Not political. It's just death. Right. Who are these? Yeah. Two people you keep speaking of. They're novelists. They wrote sci-fi. Possibly some Orson Scott card. Not sure. Okay. Okay. Just death, though. They're they're not trying to they're not trying to politically take over our planet. As far as I'm aware. They're just yeah, we'll they're just trying to kill everybody. everybody. Well, they sent a Terminator, so. Yeah, it fits the bill. You sure they're not from the future? I'm not. Are they really aliens? I have no idea. Okay. I can't see. Yeah, yeah. But one of them had wings that came out of nowhere, so... Oh, well, there's that. that. That sounds alien. Yeah, no, I, I'm right there with you. I, I think you're right. You have to watch out. And is... Is Giggles here? Who hired you? She's Giggles. Giggles. Which one hired you? Giggles. Was she the one that picked you up in the middle of the fight? Yeah. I heard all about it. Are you okay? Yes. Okay. Sober, even. That's yeah. what's wrong. Yeah, it's been almost an hour. I've got some beer. That's quite a right good meeting. That was a good fight, though. Huh. Some in the solar plexus. Went down in one hit. See? She hired the right fighter. Also punched him to my wrist. Well, that should knock somebody out, I would think, or kill them. It killed them. One of the two. I can yeah. get over. I can. But there's a reason I drink before my fights here. True, true, and you know there was that that problem that we had in uh, Pennsylvania. Yes. Yes. He really did kill it. Well, if, if it's a robot, it doesn't. It sounds like it needed to die. Robot aliens from you know trying to kill everyone on Earth. I mean, I think that's a that's a valid goal. But um, there's also some guy talking about a gator the entire time, and I think he might have been talking about Barry, but I'm not sure. He was talking about his crocodile. It doesn't make sense though because Barry's a crocodile. No, no, Barry's been here the whole time, so I don't think he was talking. About, unless he maybe he saw Barry's act. No, I fought him. Following him? Oh, it was oh, during. Oh, it was while oh. I was fighting him that oh. the the picking up thing happened. Oh, well then, uh, yeah, I don't, I don't understand why. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm confused. How about me and you sit up? I'll tell you all about the map. Oh, okay. Okay. Um, sure. But I have to get up early in the morning. You know, I have to. Help make sure some of the booths are set up right. Don't worry, it won't take that long. I mean, she does sleep for like 30 hours a day. Oh, I do not. 26. Oh, so you are a cat. Four hours of paper. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, it takes her four hours to get her hair ready in the morning. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and meanwhile, the rest of you guys rack out, and uh, that is actually, I think, a good place to stop the stream for the night. So, where do you, you rack out? Here. Oh, she stayed on the bus. She, she to go stayed home. on the bus. Yeah. Oh, okay. So thank you guys for watching. Appreciate that. Hopefully you guys are enjoying the stream. And uh, see you guys next week. But before we go, let's thank everybody. Um, Endearing Films. Yes. Chuck, you, Chuck, are you still here? Chuck, is it? Okay. Thank you, Chuck. Thank you, Chuck. Thank you. Um, and uh, Epic Worlds and Games. Jimmy. Jimmy, one Jimmy. of these days, we'll have you on the stream, I'm sure. Four Ales had some pretty good beer. I'm, I'm, I'm liking it. I still think the cucumber one was the best out of the ones we tried tonight. Mm -hmm. And, uh, of course, thank you for watching us. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for viewing. Thank you for all of the likes and all the comments out on Twitter. And please tell your friends because, you know, more and viewers John, is better. Watch us on Fortune Favors the Board. Well, thanks. Um, and Fortune Favors the Board on Thursday night. Mm -hmm. 
So see you then at um, 8.30. 8.30? 830? Nope. Just making sure that that time didn't move. Oh, okay. and we also hope that every one of you had a good 4th of July. Oh, yeah. yeah. Hopefully you had a good, safe and sane 4th of July. Thank you, Ryan, for well, bringing that up. And, yeah, so that should be <laughs> Hairball put um, a bunch of... Disco guys? Disco cats? <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Um, not, well... Maybe I mean if they're you're, they're they're cats in the sense of like they're real cool cats, yeah, but they're not yeah. like animals. okay. So see, for, from this distance and the size of the monitor, it looks you know so kind of cool cats. cats. So so thank you guys again for watching, and uh, we will see you Sunday. Goodbye or Thursday. <laughs>